Bang. All right, so what's up? How are you guys doing? Does anyone remember what happened it. last time? We. We were on the high Can we meet that one ancient elk guy? Yes. We were trying yep. to mine into a volcano. Yes, you were. And then your plans were to, one, basically search Pyrith for any other mining operations. And then go to Stone Rage Mountain, discover who might be uh, sending mining supplies to the island. And then I think you guys were going to stop in Varlago for something, but I forgot what it was. I don't you, remember. At all. You don't remember. We certainly remember. It wasn't my plan. <laughs> anyway, so. Do you guys want to have Komar assist you in rooting out mining operations? I think this should be a solo mission for Miss Brisby. <laughs> <laughs> those, those are the best odds. Well, she could sniff the metal in the air. <laughs> yeah, sulfur actually would have a distinct smell that you could follow. She's lost her character sheet. No, the character sheet I have is for fucking berries. The, your pencil, okay. Yes, I forgot my pencil. Anyway, so... It's the Joker! Yep. Joker's hey, here! Sorry, I did not give me a notification. Oh, it did not give you a notification? Yeah, Discord's been, uh... Yeah. Discord's been somewhat dropping the ball. Do you have Discord open on two sources? Nope. Well, fantastic. Because that's usually what does it for me. Is your phone still in airplane mode? No. <laughs> <laughs> Is your phone in airplane? Uh, not today. Ah, Are yes. Are you? Are Maybe. you in airplane? No way to know for that one. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I need alcohol. All right. Yeah, fair. Uh, let's but I'm not see. going what to get happened? it because I'm lazy. What uh, happened last time? Great. You guys uh, got. You guys got. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. You okay. encountered What's an elf. You encountered the ancient oh. elf known as Komar. Okay. okay. Who I thought I kept as a monk, but when I went back to his sheet, turns out he was a fighter. Yeah. For some reason. Was he also a human? No, he was not a no, human he fighter. He was No, he was supposed to be a monk this entire time. I have no idea why what possessed my brain to make me change him into a fighter. Because it's you and you make a lot of human fighters. I like human fighters. Anyway. No, no, it wasn't that. I see no, I swear though. I think it was actually like he should not have been No, it wasn't that. I have no idea. Because all of his parkour shit was because he was supposed to be a monk. <laughs> Although it wouldn't have really mattered. I think the only thing that would have changed about his stats is he had two less attack. Which he was rolling high as shit anyway, so, you know. <laughs> I have a lot of AC though. So Yes. Okay. He would have uh, against against William. He would have only had even if he was a monk against William. He would have only had to roll I think three or higher to hit. Like I said, it was like plus our AC. Yes. Anyway, so and then your plan for today was. Again, you're going to search the island, see if there's any other mining operations going on. You are going to... I think part of that was also searching Pyrith's old mine entrance. If I remember correctly. Yes, we were going to search for the mines to see if there's any Kradonian activity. William was going to send a letter to Nagita Yasu and his crew with a cipher to search uh, between Pyrith and Cradonian Sea territory for, like, outgoing exports. 
Mm. And then we were going to go to Stone Rage for a reason. Okay, I can explain why we needed why we were going to go to Stone Rage cuz now I sort of remember. So, the reason we were going to go to Stone Rage is we heard from the people of Pyrith that there was mention of people coming here, people planning to come here to open up the mines again. Aha, that. And we were going to go there to find out who was making that offer and try to if it is if it's Cradonia potentially interrupt it if it is not Cradonia potentially put ourselves in that because what that lets us do is then give uh William's brother a very great rich uh piece of uh resources that is basically has been untouched for quite a bit of time mhm mm mhm mm all right, right, right that is that is going to be a wonder Do you guys want to open the mines you... up? No, we do not need to put an explosive near a volcanic mine. Uh, do you guys have any pickaxes? No. I don't think this. Do. Yeah. <laughs> Grognak is just going to punch it open. Isn't there like a pickaxe in the climbing kit? There is a pickaxe in a climbing kit, I think. Yeah, like we might we might have pickaxes, but I don't think our intention was to open it up ourselves. Okay, but so... like we could, like we could, we could look at doing that. But yes, <laughs> he probably wouldn't need an hour. He's got monster strength. Anyway, so... I mean, like we we can look into that, but like I thought part of the deal was that they needed miners as well, unless I'm misunderstanding. They do need some miners, but yeah. I mean, so while. While we could open it up, I don't know how much that actually solves of the issue. I don't know. You know what, what if we what if we open it up and then solve the work issue later since we're going to Stone Rage anyway? Well, what, sure. Weren't there elementals in there that could probably <laughs> Well then why yeah. did you suggest opening it up? Oh my god. <laughs> she's yeah, getting that... she's getting trigger happy, guys. <laughs> Okay. That, that was the issue with her opening it up. She is getting trigger happy. They don't put bombs in it. Bombs. Bombs so, was the issue. So, as you got, you are, you have, I think you guys have already been given the location of the mines. Yes. Uh, that, so... that is true, and we went and looked, we went and looked at it, and saw, so I was like, great, this is a closed mine. Yes. Do you guys want to check it again? Oh, we already verified it. I thought so we did. We were just, so we were just minding our own business. Hey, the entire gang's here. Cool. All right, let's get this underway. How about you guys want to check the uh, mines again? Well, it, well, to be fair, I'm notoriously bad at keeping track of time, and no one pinged me. Well, at least no one pinged me when it was during the All Star part. Okay. So. Let's too lazy to get out of bed. I will need. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, Jimmy Dodgers on a Fez. Yes. All right, sure. Let's let's go investigate it again because we might just see if our massive orc lads can break it open with the pickaxes we have. Okay. So you hike up to the entrance to the mine. It would help. And yeah, it's still it's still sealed off. You know, covered with igneous rock. Well, okay, but out of character though, I think at least Brognak. Uh, unarmed strike is actually stronger than a pickaxe with attack. No, it's not. Really? So it's the same attack. It's the same. Yeah. <laughs> Whether he's pulling a pickaxe or not, it's going to be the same amount of damage. Oh, same amount of damage. Oh no, the pickaxe has more damage. Oh, okay. Anyway, so um... a a t a that b type of damage piercing is probably going to be better than bludgeoning. Also. You know, it's like how axes are super effective against walls in Fire Emblem. I assume pickaxes are better against, have better damage rolls against uh, rock than anything else. It's possible. All right. Uh, so who wants to try opening the mine? Who wants to quickly catch me up on where the fuck? Okay. Are? So yeah, no, for sure. Do explain. You are quickly. here. We are. We are on the. Last time, we investigated this island because we were trying to see what we could do to help stop Cradonian uh, advances. And part of that was investigating this place because we had reason to believe there was a chance that Cradonians were going to take advantage of this very rich uh, resource point that is this island's mines. When we came here, we found out the mines were closed. 
and because and that's because they're molten over and there were two other there's another thing we we're exploring which was the mysterious hunter like character that nearly killed us all and uh now we're sort of weighing our options and we decided well we could go find out who was trying to open this or we could open it ourselves because we have muscular people and we have access to weaponry that is good at opening caves why not just try to open this ourselves and that's where we are now and the idea is that we can open this up and through opening this up we can hope to uh get if you remember william's uh brother was a character earlier on and part of that was that william's brother is trying to open some sort of arms service and he the sells hope is arms. sells arms. Yeah, some sort of weapon resurface, and having having a, a very good supply is uh, of uh, materials is a great way to increase that increase the that service. So the hope yes. is by doing it the way we're doing it right now, we're going to be able to open the mine get ourselves ingratiated to the people here for doing so, and then we're going to go to Stone Rage and effectively hire workers under William's brother's name to go there and work in the mine. Hmm. And maybe in the process be able to effectively stop whoever was whoever else was trying to do this. And if that ends up being Cradonians, great. If it ends up not being Cradonians, we can work out some sort of deal with that person to observe the situation more closely than we can. Fantastic. So, okay. I think I understood at least some of what you're saying. Okay, so basically do you the the question we... is, the the mine is closed. This mine particularly is closed. Do you want to crack it open? Uh you guys have ways to do that or do you just want to, you know, all leave it leave well, well enough alone? Oh, well, I can't. William? William done it. <laughs> I would need let's let's make some uh let's make some attack rolls or athletics checks. For anyone right, who right, wants I'll, to try okay, to open so up I... the mine. All right, let's I'll... make it a DC uh hmm. Right, let me, let me let me DC twenty five for right now. For strength DC check? nuts. Athletics. For athletics. Or an attack right. roll with a weapon. Attack roll with a weapon. Um Try my fist. Is it literally even you possible? You could totally you try, try, try your fist. Yes. If you have a plus five, it is possible. Um. <laughs> this must be... You almost got it though. Let's <laughs> try. Oh. Uh, yeah. Grog see, Grognak is our is our best bet. Uh, one second. <laughs> I'm trying. Twenty five. Twenty-five. You've, Sorry, you've done some second. chip damage. <laughs> I remind myself about things. So my I'm athletics not. is a, a plus four, so I ha I'd have to roll a natural twenty on any things. On I anything, mean, if you here. do roll a nat twenty, you actually will succeed. Yeah, nat twenties are auto successes. Not auto successes, just one Whoa. success greater. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, okay, Sanashi. In the case of this, it automatically counts as a successful roll for what we need it to. Yes, be. yes, I know. I'm just being okay. Sanashi, <laughs> is that better for you? Is that better for you, Sanashi? <laughs> okay, okay. You're getting you're getting Will Wheaton vibes any... over there. All right. For fuck's sake, is there anything explosive on the ship or on the chemist's person? We you Colette, are not Colette immediately <laughs> just starts lobbing the grenades at it. Okay, we... we are literally trying to break into a rock. Well, okay, so the reason we didn't want to jump to explosives, we have a good reason. All right. This is a volcanic surface. All right, we will stand very far back when we do it and bolt <laughs> it to the ship if something goes wrong. All right, Colette, I think uh, <laughs> explosives are being called for. And also, it I... must be one, oh, one, also... Sorry, oh, one second. No, no, there is... Before, no, before no, get please. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, me, okay. let me say what I'm trying to say, okay, please. Okay. All right, hold what on. I'm, we'll what I was putting this in... No, I tried. I'm putting this in... Mm -hmm. I'm putting, I was putting this in the, in the group chat for a reason. I was going to ask about this. The summon elemental scroll I have. Oh yeah. 
Oh, you could summon Would... an Earth Elemental. Yes, that is what I was going to ask. Is it possible for me to summon an Earth Elemental to be able to open it like oh, hell that? Yeah. Okay, okay, cool. I would like to use this summon elemental scroll to summon an earth elemental after seeing we cannot just brute force this. And then we blow the earth elemental up. Great idea. No. 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 Well, you'll forgive me if it's the All right, let's see. I believe it's a level two explosion. spell. So, level one oh, or lower. Oh. oh, you can summon an earth method. I don't know if they can move the earth, though. Like, oh, they can burrow. If I cannot... No, yeah, they can burrow. Like I... Yeah, no. no okay, they fine. can. They they can reason. It is reasonable to say that they can burrow through the wall to create an opening that we can then break break more to open up. That is a reasonable thing to state yeah, and ask that is. for. That okay, is a completely cool. reasonable thing. I was actually just gonna say that he's just gonna kind of like burrow a shit ton of you know little things, and then yeah, you guys could just basically he's gonna perforate. I forget how are elementals. Summoned in D and D, is it like just they summoned out of the ether, or they're summoned from the material that like they are is summoned around? from an extra planar? Uh, they're extra planar. So in yeah. this case, this Earth Mephit that you have summoned. Uh, by the way, the uh, Mephits are like little demon things that are just like they have elemental stuff oh, not coming. No, they're not golems. Think like an imp, like a flying imp. But it has a bigger nose, and it has, in this case, it has little pebbles falling off of it. And it's mm -hmm. just going to burrow into this rock and just kind of perforate it. So that when you start doing your strikes, it's much easier to break through. Hell yeah. And that's, that is it. Uh, it takes a long time to do that, so it, it does that job, and then just poof. Yeah. It, it has done its job. Woo! And as you guys, right. go... like ten minutes to open a mine. Usually, it takes like forty minutes to open a door. <laughs> Sometimes it takes take forty it. minutes just to get past the cobalt that's at the door. Oh my god! No, but okay. You guys open the mine. No. All right, cool. And you hear chattering coming from within. Does anyone speak Ignin? Sorry, what now? Ignin. Ignin. I all right. Um, I'm fairly certain I don't, mainly because I think that's the first time I've ever heard that word. I speak Ocrin, so if it's opposite day, I do. I mean, it's to not be fair, to be fair, if this it's works like day. other, if it works like other <laughs> uh, systems do, you like your base, you're able to understand some words since they share a lot of DNA. But that's yeah, unless, unless, how that is. unless that somehow overlaps with common orc, goblin, or undercommon, then yeah, no. I think it would. No, I don't think it would overlap with uh, undercommon or orc. I think it would overlap with Jotun, if anything, or one of the other I... elemental languages. Well, so Aquan. Well, yeah, I, so I Aquan. speak. I speak Jotun, so you I also Jotun? sort of okay. understand. Yeah, that's right. None of you speaks bird. Uh, squeak, squeak, squawk, tweet. Hey, God damn it. Anyway, guys. Okay, so. Oh, no, I'm just doing the fucking Power oh. Rangers bit. <laughs> oh, I thought you were doing the uh, Chrome Tree Group. Let's see. So everyone is here, no. which means I actually have to copy paste <laughs> oh, everyone's that's tokens. A bird. Hold up. I was not planning on copy pasting everyone's tokens. Sorry. Relevant quote in the Roll20 chat. Oh, really? Huh. Okay. Karen, so, they, they, you can perfectly they, understand it. You hear... You hear a thing. Wait, they speak Terran? They speak Space Marine? Yes. Yes. <laughs> they speak Daka. WOG! <laughs> it's a very compact language. You can fit a whole book on a nap. And... Look, as long as you believe the stick is a gun, it will fire bullets. Oh, I need to. I. But, I mean, it's a okay, wooden gun. Okay? We can at least... Look, okay. this, this, look, the stick is long. We pretend it's a gun. We can at least defeat Magneto with it. Hold up. Where the hell did Kieran's token go? Where the hell did my token go? Your your token was here, and then it just now it's not. Got distracted by a fly. What? <laughs> your token was here oh, on the God. ship, and then it was not. That's weird. Weird. Did it go uh, ah. translucent? Yes, you went translucent. Okay, so I had a problem. <laughs> and that problem was... It, 
every time I spawned a new token, it made it, and it was on the token layer, it made it translucent like it was on the GM layer. Hmm. All right. So, so Sin, I, this sounds like a great opportunity to mention to you. I have recently picked up a Foundry VTT license. If that is something I you wish to look into, because it is due to my, uh, it is such a better service. It is such a better service. Unfortunately, I have the problem, and the problem is my computer itself. Well, no, that's what I'm saying. I can host it, and I can show you how to s turn down the settings. No, no, you don't understand. You, can... you don't understand. It won't work okay. with my computer. Okay. Uh, hold on. Let me mute the thing. Maybe. Okay. I thought there was a way to get. We'll look into it later. I thought there was a yeah. way to make it work with Windows. Also, why the hell are your hit points? Why are your hit points at twenty? I mean, okay, your hit points are at twenty-six. That's fine. Why were they at zero though? Great question. Have you updated the token since you killed me? <laughs> I didn't. Okay, I did kill you. Not on, <laughs> not on purpose though. You were not supposed uh -huh, to die. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, no, I understand. Oh yes, DM master of the story. You had no control over the matter. I <laughs> didn't. I rolled in the open. I'm, I don't I'm have any comedy. control when I roll I'm... in the open. <laughs> That's the first thing <laughs> I give up. I I was making I was open. making a, I was making a comedy. You were you were. It was a comedy. And that's the thing, it's like, that's one thing I do hate about rolling in the open, is if you guys die, I'm like, oh, well, shit, hold on. Well, you were severely wounded. You had to retreat Fire Emblem stuff. <laughs> that's the thing, he would have been, it would have been fine if he was just wounded. I didn't expect, oh, okay, he rolls a 19. That's a critical hit. Oh, what are the odds that he rolls another critical hit, considering he has multiple attack penalty? Oh, that's a nat 20. Okay, cool. Isn't the Fuck. chance of a critical hit? Anyway, so as you guys are yet? in the entrance, you see something coming from within the tunnel, and it gets brighter and brighter and brighter. Someone else exploded. And what looks to be a humanoid made of fire, along with several little imps made of fire, burst out of the entrance. Oh, fun. Oh, things are getting heated now. And they look around. They see all this forest, and you see them, uh, you see the humanoid of fire just start lighting that shit on fire. Guys, I may, may May we interact and stop them? May yes. I ask what they're doing in Aquan? <laughs> Okay, okay, team, team, team. We gotta stop doing everything. Alright, and now you should be on the map. Alright, yeah, no, we're gonna we're gonna fuck these things up. They All are right. overly excited with their newfound freedom to burn everything. <laughs> Alright then. Let's roll some initiative. I know how to roll initiative. I've done this Okay, before. and I and okay, I will say this before I made this combat, I actually did run the numbers. I run the numbers before. Oh, oh no. Before, so we're, before we're going I made to the, die. Before okay. I made the combat, not after. Why does my not go up? I clicked the top. Oops. Uh, have you tried clicking it better? <laughs> Mr. Norway, quite quite a good initiative result. <laughs> Damn. Who got the 27? I, I, okay, so I... I... <laughs> well, I ain't gonna be living for long. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, uh... Okay, well, that one's... The fire methods are... <laughs> that living wildfire, though, is probably... The, the, the tiny the tiny boys are a lot speedier. Here, here, I'll, I'll edit yours. Okay. So, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Where's my living wildfire? Why is it not on there? You mean the guy in the middle, or? Yeah, yeah. Where's my living wildfire? Let's try this again. Why does the second not on yours? 
There it is. Wait, the guy in the middle. Hold up. Oh, no, that's a fire method. Uh, oh, you're uh, trying uh, to... I thought the tiny ones were the fire methods. Yeah, the tiny ones are the fire methods. The uh, This is the living wildfire. Yeah, that's why I meant by the guy in the middle. Oh, yeah, no, for some odd reason it didn't... Uh... Oh, I thought yes. those little tiny dudes with wings. Yes, the little tiny dudes with wings are fire methods. Okay, hot wings, hot wings, wings if you will. I see it a little bit. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't yeah. see. It. I don't see a horse. No, no, I can no, see no. It. Yeah, I uh, see it. I see it. Anyway, uh, no, uh, oh, poop rat. I think I kind of let a loss on that one. Poop rat, your turn. Mm. Grognak, I should say. Your turn. Yeah. These things be damn physical takes. Can these things be? Uh, you. Yes, I believe uh, Mr. Difrogolus would be able to tell you that methods can be damaged with physical attacks. And also the when fire that can name? be damaged. Huh? Unless his name changed. I mean, let's be real, you can press fire, but it won't hurt you. Yeah. I don't know if that's the case for anything, but... So, uh, go ahead and make your attack rolls against it. Or whatever. Great axe. Do I get second attack it. or? You yeah. Okay. Uh, hold on. AC was seventeen, so that's one hit. Go ahead and roll damage for that. Alright. I did fire damage. And you're gonna do fire damage? No, it did additional <laughs> fire damage to it. <laughs> I'm going to do fire yeah. damage to these guys. <laughs> yeah, so, does that heal it? <laughs> Look, haven't you heard of fighting fire with no, fire? I heard that was always oh, a good idea. That's a nice hit. They're just resistant to, to it. No. no. Yes. Sure, go ahead. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. I got fire and I got water. Which one's better, guys? Water. Fire. Please. Fire. Water. Please. <laughs> no water on fire. Okay, uh, yes, Poop Rat, you can go ahead and do another attack. Oh, you already did. Okay. Yeah, right, right, right. okay. You got options. Uh, ground is also very effective against it. Let's see, so first action, first action, first action. Oh, God. Hmm, let's see what we have here. Yeah, oh, right. hi, Poop Rat, how you doing? <laughs> so, you're going to have six attacks coming your way. So let's start with Mr. Up here. Uh, not too... Okay, no, never mind. You're right. You're right. You're good. All good. So that's a hit. That's a miss. Okay. Wow! Run! Oh, wait. Was that a crit? Uh, a critical one? No, 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 no. Was that a, was that a crit against Grognak? What's his AC? I thought Grognak had 17, but I could be wrong. Oh, uh, 16. 16? Oh, that is a crit. All right, so so you take one. a total of four damage as you feel some jaws piercing into you. You you just, just kind of glare at them. Does it have a side effect nom nom? No, it does not have side effect nom nom. It, it, it inflicts burn and flinching. All right, and then <laughs> yes. you're going to have 14 AC for these next two attacks. So that's a hit. That's a hit. And then, let's see. So that's six damage. And then six more damage. How are you doing? So 12 that's damage eight. for those. That's or eight. for that. Oh, wow. Well, that's a miss. Okay. You're perfectly fine. It's fine, fine. It's okay. When you get, when you, the bleeding got uh, perforated. I'm um, sorry. The bleeding got a. Uh, well, his wounds are. Out. Yeah, his wounds are cauterized. Cauterized, yeah. thank you. I lost the word first. All right, Ledig, what's up? Um, apparently the temperature now. Yes, it is up. All right. Um, I have no idea. <laughs> ba da bum, ba da bum. Um, right. So, for the record, I can still shoot them. Would that cause any problems? They are literally made of fire. Yeah, you can shoot them. 
So keep in mind, while we're thinking about them as fire, they are a lot. They're they're like thick fire, so they're not yeah. gonna. You're not gonna like shoot through them and then spread fire everywhere. They're thick. Got it. They're they're um, like fire jello. Yeah, that is actually a very good way to describe them. Burning j spicy jello. Gotcha. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Like choo choos. Yeah, yeah choo choos. What? Like a choo choo from uh, Zelda. Yeah. No. No. Right. You are absolutely yeah. correct. Okay. So I, my first thought was just the plants from Final Fantasy because I've been playing too much of that lately. Um, Correct. Oh, the bombs, yeah. That's actually a good one. Or the bombs. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, all right, I guess I'll I'll shoot uh, the closest one to me, which would be... um. This one. Yeah, that one. I, I forgot how to do effects on this thing. It's been a minute. Um, yeah. So... That is a miss... Their AC uh, is 16. All right, so I'll But reload. you can reload and then try again, yeah. I'll reload and try again. Yep, attack number two. Ooh, nice. Critical hit. Yay. That is indeed a critical hit. Okay, roll that the, uh, roll that the, roll that critical damage. Where is the critical damage? Wait, wait, is that a specific... Why the hell do you or... not have... Why do you not have... Oh, well, no, 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 so quick... So no no, click the damage that showed up for that attack. Huh. All right, so that'll Why did be that not roll... four. No no, that did. Never mind, it did. It did. Cool. <laughs> that'll be four damage. Yay! I, I, and and that's perfectly me. No no no, wait. It, no it didn't because remember we're using the alternate rules, so that didn't. That only rolled the two d six. Or wait, no, it just doubled damage. Never mind. It, yeah, yeah you that, you just doubled the damage. Yeah. So Sorry, I played too many systems. Is I rolled times. the best possible roll, <laughs> followed by the worst possible roll twice. Greeny, yes. listen. Greeny, he has yeah, met himself. Yeah, I've met myself. Okay. I'm trying to contextualize. I'm trying, to contextualize. <laughs> I'm trying to contextualize what has just happened. <laughs> you, yes. you, you hit them. You hit them in a vital spot. It just didn't go in very deep, I guess. So, what do we decide? Fire versus fire or water? Whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do the fire. Go ahead. Do the fire. Go. Go. If it doesn't do damage, then it might not. Is it hot water or cold water? Water, 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 and water, and water, water. No, we we aren't in Gen Five yet. We can't use scald. <laughs> Okay. Literal splash. So, what is the damage? Uh, well, let's hit you first. You didn't list the damage. Non magical yeah. is a particularly effective assistance. You should have. It'd be should've... listed for what your bombs do normally. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It should. It should have. Uh, it should have listed it. So that's a lesser water bomb? Yeah. Lesser water bomb deals... One non-lethal bludgeoning damage and one non-lethal splash damage. And where are you aiming this? I can see your arrows on the... Oh, okay, right there? Okay. All right, so they each suffer one non-lethal damage. Okay, so the water does shit. So fire. And the water had and the water had no effect on them. Nope. Not gonna give us anything here, idiom. All right, fair enough. Nope, it did not have fire any effect. Fire. You're gonna no fight. Focus. Okay. <sighs> you. Oh, and they all don't they uh, suffer persistent spl uh, fire damage? Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, isn't that the only main hit? I could draw. Let me just make a note of that. Yeah, that they're gonna heal to every turn. Oh, don't you be looking up the bestiary. I'm not looking up the bestiary. I'm taking a guess. 
because you were super excited for her to use fire damage. You just listed that, that specific number that it actually happens to be right too. No, because <laughs> no, because the because the fire bombs say they oh, use two no. fire okay. damage. Well, I just revealed Sin? that no, actually they do have fast healing too when they're on fire. <laughs> it's it's very odd. Okay. All right, I, 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 I learned to look away and I came back and you actually fucking shot fire at them. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, Mr. Norbury, can you recover the situation? No. <laughs> but I will devise a strategy. That one. Uh, I, I, a Joker's turn. I'm just fully expecting his character pull out a cigarette, just stick it at one of the people in this smoke. Watch us fucking deal with this. <laughs> he does oh. have the tongue to reach Tempting. over there. Temptation. Temptation. <laughs> stick his cigarette on the tongue and you know just bam. Oh. There's an alchemist fire. Uh what was uh what was the result, Mr. Norbury, on what uh target? Twenty against this one. Twenty against that one? Excellent. That is a hit. Bam. Ooh. Okay. Hold up here. Let me check something. Well that one's not gonna be fast healing. Got it right between the eyes. All right, and I use my third action to recall knowledge. Uh, the fire handle <clears throat> pencil. Let me see. That would be an Arcana check. What's your Arcana? Oh, uh, two. It's great. Uh, yeah, no. So we're moving on to Kieran's turn. Yep. Uh. Polly Toad, use water gun. Nope. <laughs> oh my god. He's gonna... If you want to just magic missile the fuck out of Ledig, I will totally allow it. <laughs> no, Ledig didn't nope. say that. Ledig doesn't know what a Polly Toad is. <laughs> so. Yes. Ten foot burst for animated assault. We're going to aim it so mm. that it hits these two up here. Okay. Specifically, I don't want to hit Grognak because I can't. I, I cannot, like, choose to not hit allies with this. So I'm just yeah. going to hit those two. Oh, they both they fail. They both need to make reflex saves. Is it a then... basic? Yes, it's basic. Okay, they both take full damage. So let's see. Yeah. 14. Uh, oh, nice. Damn. They take 14, and then each round I sustain the spell, they'll be taking an additional D8. Uh, sorry, additional D10, and then they get to save for each time it happens. Okay. Yeah, basically, cool. the rocks from the area just fly up and then smash into each of these two creatures. Yes. And that'll be all for Kieran's turn. All right. Mm, let's see. How much speed do you have, Mr. Fire? Mm hmm. Hmm. Uh, no. Jeez. Yes. Uh, yeah. Oh, wait, no, sure does. They just rolled like shit. I'll take it. Okay, it will move around. Hey, hey, hey. It'll move Hi. around. Uh, right there, actually. Nope. He's a barbarian. He does not have that. And then he will use... Huh? No, no, no. Grognak <laughs> no, oh, does no. not have an attack thought... of opportunity. Yeah, I thought you were talking Grognak does the... No. All right, and then it's going to lash out with a flaming tendril at Grognak. That's a crit. That's a hit, because he's flanking. So we are going to have Grognak... Oh, my God, what? Jesus <laughs> Christ. So, Sin, uh, you know we, how we talked about balanced encounters? This is balanced. <laughs> oh. Is it now? Hold up. Is it now? It is. And then, uh, what the hell is this? Hold up. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So I'm dead? No, you're not dead. Um, you're actually bounced. at 1 HP. HP. You're at 1 oh, HP, yeah, no, Val. You, yeah, you're at, you're at 1 because you're, uh, because you're... Is Sinashi balanced this encounter around the luck of normal people, forgetting that the luck of everyone here ranges from shit to chaotic evil? Uh-huh. All right. Grognak, what you gonna do? <laughs> if, uh, if I, if I may be a friend and, uh, wait, let me look up what sleeping says. Keep talking. You're good. Or just attack the uh, one 
horse thing next to me. Which one? This one or uh, this one? No, no, the one that's not damaged yet. Okay. Go ahead. It's 16, right? Yes. All right, that was the first one was a miss. So something I'll, something I'll mention before you make this next attack. You have a weapon. Okay, it doesn't matter for you, but it, it is worth mentioning that you have that little trait, the sweep thing on your thing. If you attack another enemy instead, you get a plus one to that attack for the following one. Mm -hmm. Just for fun facts that you may not know. But you're good. You already hit. All right, go ahead and uh, what's your damage on that? 21 plus 4. 21. Oh, wow. Okay, well. Uh... If I'm going to yeah. die, I'm going to go down swinging. <laughs> Do you want to use your last action to retreat? Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, you go ahead. Go ahead and move. Uh, move where you will. Hey, hold on. Get a, the fire method. Okay, so Kieran, it's at when you sustain the spell. They have to make an additional. When I sustain thing? the spell. Okay. Yeah, when I sustain the spell. So assuming it moves out of the range, it's not going to be a problem. It is still in the range. It is no longer in the range. I feel bad, but yeah, it would totally just go after Grognak like this. Yeah. Do you? Oh, what the hell? Jesus. Do you feel bad? <laughs> Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I'm not planning any of this, though. I'm not fudging anything. I, I know. I know. <laughs> What's going on? So, Hold on. So, Grognak, you're going to go to dying too. Roll 21. Lie. Roll damage. Oh, whoops. Okay, well, he suffers six damage again. Yeah, it goes to dying. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Because it was down, because he was down by a critical hit. Because yeah, I, he I, is I, dying too. Okay, let it. I'm definitely not regretting my choice to primarily focus on a ranged weaponry. <laughs> Are you ready to become a frog? frog? Yeah, yeah. Don't don't worry about it. It'll be fine. It will I mean, be fine. Will have it's supposed to be man. fine. Hold on, you the know, enemies. This is, this is actually the perfect time to be doing with frog. No, it's a joke. Frog nah. God damn it. Okay. Anyway, Ledig, what you doing? Um. All right. Now I'm giggling. Um. And also thinking that this is the perfect time to be doing the "this is fine" meme, given we are fighting literal fire. <laughs> <laughs> um. Right. All right, you're right you're I will right. spend my first action reloading. Mm -hmm. Then I will shoot the uh, the one closest to me, I guess. Yep, okay. Go ahead and make that attack roll, AC 16. All right. We did it. You did it? Nice. What's the damage? Eight. All right. All right. Yeah, it's it is funny that I guessed the 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 fast healing too. Did not it, it did funny, not intend. Yeah. All right, so can I, can I can so I can can I move and do the reloading strike, or does it have to be a? You would uh you were, right. you reloaded and then you attacked, so you would have to move and then that would be your last action. I mean, you could give the willing wildfire or something to attack that's not Grognak. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. I'll I will move over and. Okay, but uh, let's. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That was your last action. Yeah. It, it, my last action for the turn or my last action period? I'm feeling like for the we're turn. leaning towards the other. For the, the turn. For the turn. For the turn. I feel like we're leaning towards period. the other on this right period. now. No. Okay, now in dying two, can I put bombs on uh, Grognak and bring him back? Yes, and you can. Alive. Yes, you can you do can. that. Yeah, Di the dying states are literally just like how Five E has the like the three states. There's dying's zero to four, and those only recover after arrest, and it's just tracking that same so way. What happened to you? Was you were significantly? I was so I was so I was crit and put to death. Yeah, that's uh, the thing. So, so that gave me dying two, and then I was crit again, and that puts me to dying four. Well, you're you're at two. Yeah, you're brought back. Double what he was at. My God, I, I think. <laughs> say, say, 
what? Yeah, I was like, Sen, is this teaching you how to factor in our luck when balancing encounters? No, because actually, you're, you, I think you guys are fine. You guys got two turns to do some <laughs> shit. Let's see what happens. Man yeah, is okay. dead. It is being revived. He's by not dead. He's alive. A man is dying, <laughs> Sip. <laughs> yeah, like, anyway. it was an elixir of life. It was essentially just throwing a cup of water at him to wake him up from being knocked out. I killed him for four total. I my statement is basically was unchanged. You, you, well, you basically here's what. All right, nice. Devise a stratagem. Okay, that'll work. Uh, what's the total attack? One eight two, and he's flat footed because flanking, right? Yes, he is flat footed because of flanking, bringing down his AC to fifteen. Okay. Okay. Eleven. Eleven. Wish All right, Mister Diphragalus. Yeah, not going to uh, not not going to keep up the spell since it does it won't do anything. Uh, so I'm not sustaining the animated assault. Okay. Uh, but however, what I am going to do is I'm going to uh, cast a level one magic missile for three actions. Ooh, so nice. I'm going to do uh That's seven da nine, nine damage nine, nine damage. damage deal nine damage to the living thing and that'll be my three actions I'll be passing. All right, so it's going to do one attack against William and then one attack against uh, Ledig. Let's do William first. Hey, wait, William, is that wouldn't that be a crit? Or how big is this thing's AC? Because that's 19 before your bonus, and you have plus one from flanking. See, my bonus is... Uh, well, he said it was a 22 total, and its AC would be Oh 15. my god, I'm stupid. I've been using okay. my uh, my uh, dex and strength to hit, not my intelligence to hit. So, four, two, plus one, seven, that's a 26. 26? Oh, that's a crit. Okay, so it suffers 11 more. Yeah, sorry. That's what I was saying, because I, like, I, I've i just been playing one it's of these alive. recently, and I know that it's so... <clears throat> yeah, I figure it's still Thank alive, you. but it's just worth worth getting the right damage. It is very worth getting the right damage. Thank you for mentioning that. Okay, so uh, it does hit William for 15 damage. I'm dead. <laughs> you are not <laughs> dead. You are perfectly fine. Yeah. And then, let's see. Ledig, how are you doing? What's your AC? Uh, probably less than that. Yeah, I was about to say, like, should I even bother reading it? <laughs> 14 damage to you. When does the persistent damage apply? Right, my oh, I AC think that's on a critical hit. Uh, my AC is 16. But yeah, um, so I take, you said a 14 or? 14, yeah. Alright, Grognak, how are you doing? Well, I, I, well, I, 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 <laughs> you uh, set your I, HP to 14. Well, <laughs> I love it. Oh, right. Close enough. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. By the way, can you guys see each other's HP numbers? Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay, fantastic. Anyway, go on, yeah. Grognak. Uh, uh, number, it's still saying 15 It says it's four. It shows four out of seven it's for me. Four. Yeah. So What's well, token kind of bugged out for well, me for a second? Um, yeah, nope. It, this is four. That's fine. All right, Grognak, uh, you didn't hear Nobel, so uh, what you going to do? Mm -hmm. Move here and tap twice. <laughs> yes. Sixteen and eleven. Sixteen, that's a hit. All right. For sixteen. All right, it's not looking too well though. Its flames are starting to die down a bit. It's just smoldering now. Yeah. Ledig, now you may use your reloading strike if you want to. All right. Uh, yeah, I'll use the reloading strike. All right, go ahead and make your attack roll. Yeah, AC kind of 50. It. it would be 15 AC because you're flanking with William. Okay. All right, then. Nice. So... All right. Blech. I scraped its elbow and it died. It just explodes. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> you just delivered the final blow after Grognak kind of set you up all right so you have you have dealt with the elementals that have burst out at you well and... so much for their freedom 
Oh, the forest is still on fire from when they first set it on fire. It's not very okay. on fire. Call it water bombs. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Spread I on. do. I wanted, I wanted them before, too. <laughs> Also, I just, I just realized. I just realized. I, I just how realized. Many gonna, how many uh, do you think we need right now? Just one. Oh, just one. Okay, then yeah, I can do that right now. Oops, there you go. I, I just realized I've been doing Deals a terrible job of like, keeping uh, track of my inventory, most notably my bolt count. Yeah, I mean, you you recollected uh, all your bolts that you fired. It's fine, right, yeah. Sanashi? Liter literal fired. <laughs> I mean, I don't Burned. care. Just right, uh, right, just spend right, a right. silver piece every now and then, you know. Yeah, yeah, because okay, I've also not been keeping track of my money, so I've forgotten what completely happened to any finances that happened. <laughs> Pretty much, it's all we, we haven't we today. haven't really been doing. Yeah, we haven't really been doing anything that's non-party wise. You guys, you guys essentially have I, a community I pool. Been my money. I've been at zero forever now. Oh yeah, and uh, I'm essentially <laughs> assuming that you guys are just gonna, dip, you know, use diplomacy and democratically decide how to spend the money. Yes. Yeah. So... You can use the party funds for another keg of beer. You are gonna go to Stone Rager Mountain. Do you wanna, you know, indulge in another kegger? All right. I'm just gonna delete a silver. When we get there, potentially. You just said, and we'll... Okay. So. Are we <clears> gonna <throat> address the man bleeding out here? <laughs> No, he's 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 fine. He's okay. I'm gonna have to set four out of sixty-four. I mean, yeah, like he, that's more he's than fine one. In the way that, <laughs> he's fine in the way that a guy that just lost his spleen is fine. But uh, you know, like he's you would be an expert in that field, wouldn't you? <laughs> oh yeah, my God, I sure would. <laughs> you, would you are yeah. correct. I still can't. Too believe. soon. It is too soon. All right, no, so after well, dealing with that, you. You've opened up the mine. Yay! I mean, mission mission accomplished. Legitimately, like huzzah! We, like we did open the we did open the mine. Um, you guys got crit fucking twice. What the hell is this shit? That was not. Uh, bad. okay. Guys, I mean, like, we we have the mine open. We should go and uh, report that to. Uh, we should go report that to the to the people and let them know that the mine is now. Yeah, let's let's go. To, let's now go talk to the mayor person and explain what? the situation. All right. So, so I, I've only ever heard that phrase used in the first set of Yu-Gi-Oh. I've never heard it here. What mayor person? No, no. the last the, the only HP that matters is your last one. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Anyway, so you go to Silas Oldani, who is a Gripley, like our good old friend Kieran. And uh, he goes, oh, hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? So I don't know if it's good news or bad news, but your mind's open again. You did what? Uh, what the heck? Right? Go. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you started it. You're, you're the diplomatic person at the moment. Keep going. And she slinks behind Kieran and William. <laughs> just gently shoves them forward. Mm -hmm. Like letting just picks up Colette and just holds her forward. Speak. <laughs> Give me a second. I had to step up to get food. Well, I mean, Mr. Norbury could speak up. Kenny, I'm uh, writing a reply. Oh, yeah. you're writing the okay. reply. Okay. No. Okay. So I mean, Karen is gonna yeah. talk if if you're not. Give, um, give him we'll a couple ahead. minutes. Oh, okay. No, no, I can, read, can a, read my letter. I'm fine to let him do it. Okay. So am I going? So uh, we spend 15 minutes her. deciding who says this, and then I'll I'll speak up. So we All cleared right. the mine and we cleared the fire elementals inside. It, it was some effort. Grognak here took a beating, but it's all good now. He thinks. Oh, uh, there were fire. You defeated all the fire elementals. Yes, all the four oh. fire elements. Four? Really? 600. <laughs> you defeated 600 fire elementals. We we defeated four and then came back to report and explain the situation. Don't mind the billowing smoke from the direction we came. <laughs> if okay. it started flaming before we, are going we to left, have to... we would have returned. I would gonna recommend have to find a way securing to, uh... buckets. Yeah, we're going to have to find a way to block that back up. 
Okay, wait, sorry. You wanted this opened. That we was wanted it opened when we were directly. ready. Yes, that's why we were opening it for you to be ready. We're not ready. The... We don't have we don't have people posted at the we don't have the, the staff. That is why Sin, I'm going to be pushed. We, we were the, I, um, thought we were, I, thought, I thought we were the staff. I mean Yeah, that we, is what we were coming to talk to you about right now. Oh. You want yes. to you Can want I to... can I speak? Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. Our plan with this, we have opened we have opened the tunnel, and what and what we're going to do is that some of our associates are going to uh, stay here and guard the entrance to it. While that's happening, we are going to go to Stone Rage and acquire workers and our hopes in doing this and covering this for you because we know that this was an important resource for you to get back online to help your people is that you will let us get first dibs on resources from this. Hmm. But as such, we are more than willing to protect this for the time being while we get the get workers here to then help, and then your people can subjugate as you see fit. Hmm. And all we ask for is first dibs for, and Kieran would know the name of this, and I'm blanking on it, but... Uh, Ms. Uh, Mr. Norbury's brothers. Oh, thing. Uh, you know what I'm Labo, talking about. Labo, yeah. Labo arms and armor. Yeah, yeah. La Labo arms are like ba basically saying like Labo yeah. arms and armor gets first dibs on on resources, but otherwise you are like you are free to use this as you see fit. We just get first dibs. Hmm. Make me a diplomacy check. Sure. I mean, you usually it went well for you last time. Oh no, 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 like I'm I'm fine to do it. Yeah, I thought I put points in diplomacy hey, last should time, I, but should, it's should fine. any of us have been back there still guarding the cave while this all was happening, like talking? Nah. It, nah. Okay. I no, assume that matter. in the in the in the course of like twenty, like the the whole idea is doing this and then going back and uh, yeah, and, and well, then it's, literally it's... going back and yeah. No, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. I'm not going to screw you over that badly. Thank this you. is not this is not uh, the dungeon delve that I have planned, which I All have right, called uh, Fukuni and Odyssey. I right, to I'm, I'm going to spend a uh, I'm going to spend a hero point for yeah. Go ahead. Oh, bonus. by the way, you guys have hero points. Yes. Yeah. Let's mention hero oh, points. Yeah. Uh, hero points. Oh. They are very useful. Uh, I believe you can use them to stabilize yourself. If you are going to be very important, going, very important going forward. Very important going forward. Unfortunately, it would and not have helped to... Mr. Disopolis because he was not crit on. He he was killed on not his turn. So you know, yep. eighteen plus. So never mind. They will not be important. <laughs> but for example, so if you I are forget. dying, does... yeah, mm. you know what? That's good. I like it. <sighs> yeah. So what does what does hero points do for check bonuses? I think you're allowed to re-roll. Okay, I'm just allowed to re-roll. Yeah, I'm basically, it's basically. I, I think it's sworn just gives I you put advantage. points in diplomacy. No, you didn't. You just rolled really well. <laughs> no, I thought I specifically. Okay, so, and then I have the aid bonus to that. 14. Yes, you do, which I believe is a plus two. So, sixteen. Sixteen. All right. <sighs> hmm. <laughs> you know. It is terrible that you opened that mine back up because we have no idea what's in how many fire elementals are in there. At the same time, though, I do appreciate that you guys are willing to guard the place until you get back with help and our workers. Yeah, no, we we entirely understand that uh... this is a situation that's always awkward, but progress comes from taking initiative, yes? That is sure, true. You, you know what? I that like as someone that that is a mayor on this fine island of a very dangerous, uh, very dangerous abode all its own. You know, it takes initiative to get somewhere in this world. Was no, well, it wasn't dangerous until the caldera exploded. But I do sure, like the but cut you, of your jib. You understand? Yes, I like the cut of your jib. Ah, uh, I'll have to debate on your first dibs thing, but I will consider it. Of course. I'm sure when uh, 
when our uh, when our missive come uh, when we return with workers and when our missive from Wavo Arms and Arms comes, I'm sure the exacts of that can be discussed at much length. And as things need to change, they can. But I'm sure we're going to have a wonderful working relationship. I look forward to it. Wonderful. All right. And William's in the corner just taking notes at Kieran's diplomacy. <laughs> <laughs> like, how does he do it? Damn. How okay. do I do it? God damn. Do you, how, I don't Kieran, know. Kieran leaves the room, and then you just see Kieran nearly fall over when he sighs out. And it's like... Uh, All right, so uh, you are now going one. to Stone Rage Mountain. Yes, and, oh, and who specifically you, who you we leave are... At okay, Pyro. of the people on the ship, I would like to leave behind uh, Barley, Ellen, because Ellen can likely call upon um, oh, yeah, the, the... Yeah, if, like, Bar uh, Barley, Ellen, and through Ellen, effectively, Komar, since Komar also wants Asylum Defended, and, um, and, uh, pff, brain, please. Uh, Modiri? Modiri, thank you. And we'll keep, uh, we'll keep Bolaria with us to help keep the ship running. Okay. And basically just, like, just, like, explain the whole situation to them, all that stuff, obviously. Yeah. Set up watches, make sure that they don't get to burn any more forest. Uh, and I'd probably give them supplies to set up a tent and basically be like, take this time to set up, like, a rudimentary entrance to this place if you can help it. Uh, we'll try. Well, yeah, you know what I'm asking for, right? Like, I'm literally know. just asking for a camp inside the inside the cave. Hmm. Like, I, right. like you you played a you played think... an RPG. You know what I'm looking for. Yeah, yeah, I know. All right, so they will do that. Unfortunately, so... uh, it is barley. <laughs> and I mean, Modiri. Modiri, Modiri can take lead. Ellen can help uh, keep things structural. Yeah, he can. And you depart from the island it's a peaceful sailing and you reach stone rage mountain with no incidents now how are you guys going to determine exactly where you could uh obtain the information on who is going to send workers uh, going right to the source, I like to uh, go to uh, one of the more prolific bars and uh, ask to put up a signage for hiring workers to go to Stone Rage, or sorry, to go to um, Pyrith. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm just going to go straight for the source. If, if there's someone already looking for workers, I'm going to basically undercut them by having a big fucking sign that's saying the mine is open, we are ready to accept workers. Oh my god, <laughs> you're devious. Yes. No oh opinion. yeah, no, I'm an asshole. To be clear, I'm an asshole. But also, Are you going to undercut it, them by one copper piece? 100%. <laughs> oh, Price is right, rules, motherfucker. Oh, you're undercutting them by 100%, so you're doubling their offer. No, 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 no. <laughs> he's just offering no, he's one more copper piece. Okay. So... Yeah, what, one you more just copper stroll... piece, and I'm offering them... Uh, an extra silver signing bonus. Is anybody else picturing the scene from Avatar where he's like, How about two copper pieces? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's basically is it. Yeah. So, yes, you just wander into a bar. It's, again, it's a dwarven bar, so it's rowdy. A mug of ale goes flying across your head, or across, over your head, you know. Uh, you hear a bar fight going on somewhere. You don't know where. You don't see a bar fight. It's just, it's happening. You can feel the internal bar fight of the soul. Yes. You go over to the tavern's quest board. You stick your little note onto it. And then you just wait. I mean, okay, that is the start of it. I'd also like to go around and gather information while this is happening. I'm not going to just... I'm not just going to lay my sack on the ground and leave, right? Like, I'm... Okay. Uh, make is a diplomacy a check. Skill? Does anyone else want to gather information? Oh, wait, yeah, shit. That's, that's secret rolls, isn't it? Uh, wouldn't it be a society check to gather information? If you have the right feet. 
I thought it was the other way around, but it could no. be No. Diplomacy is to gather information. If you have, I think it's connections, you can use society okay. instead. Sorry, I thought it was the exact... Uh, wait, nope, clicking on the wrong thing. Uh, Don't worry about I'll it. Ask the, uh, tavern rats. Hold up. What now? Tavern um, rats? Yeah, I can talk to the rats that are in the pub and stuff. Since they've uh, heard anything. <laughs> My, my, my it society, is a secret. My, it is a secret role. Cool. So uh, my, my society is plus four. I guess I think that means I put something into it. I'm actually going to. Weirdly enough, I'd like to use occultism instead because I have schooled in secrets. Hmm. Yes. So I'm going to use occultism instead with the idea that basically I'm get like I'm just gathering from the people that are like looking into ley lines because i'm sure there's a bunch of weird book people that want to go to this place for the like connection to the fire elementals that are down there i actually like that okay you know what i'll give you a plus one uh, bonus because i actually like that okay so what so is your that's cultism? a plus well, i have plus six so that'll be plus, a plus seven total plus seven okay anyone else want to try can I search for a mining guild with my mining lore that I have trained? What do you? What is your mining lore? Six. Anyone else? Um. Uh, okay. So. So so right. So Tess, is it just like a bunch of different types of people around here wanting this one, or? I mean, if it, it doesn't matter, it's it's just like whoever you whoever yeah. wants to I'll go ahead and like, gather information hey. in some way. Yeah, I might as well try to gather information. I was gonna look see if there were any orcs I could talk to with my orc lore. Oh, or you have orc lore? Uh, yeah, orc no, most likely you're not gonna find any orcs here. But right, you know well, what? Just, here, I, how I about this? Use my, I can use my society, which is also four, but you know what? You can find some orcs. Okay, then yeah, my orc lore is plus four. Okay, and then Colette, you want to do gathering information? No. Okay. Uh, Grognak, you want to? <laughs> I'm recovering. Oh shit! What is it? Oh, you. Oh, the the rats. Oh, that's right. You can literally speak to rats. Okay, I forgot about that. What is your diplomacy? <laughs> you still got to use diplomacy. Can orc lore be a substitute for legal lore? Considering recent events, maybe basically. Hmm. What recent events? I don't know what you're talking about. The acronym for the license that buys. Oh yeah, that. that's right. I keep forgetting it's called orc. God, sorry. I'm gonna say one thing about this, and this is literally just for non-magic players. So you seen the? You saw the response post that Watsy made about it, right? Yeah. Yeah. And how stupidly, like, not just, like, deaf it was. It's mm -hmm. even more deaf if you know this. So the car, uh, the art for the for the cover of that thing, yeah. they used the magic card art, and the magic card is called Bar the Gate. <laughs> ow! 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 <laughs> so it just makes it even more tone deaf when you know that. Okay. And I figured that that was worth saying because I'm I'm sure you did OGL not know that Easter before eggs now. up in here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There's, there's your uh, there's there's your uh, fun news of the day. Uh, okay. So anyway, uh, you're not going to use your diplomacy. Go ahead and try. What's it? What's your bonus? Negative two. Nah, go ahead, use it. Oh, ah, you actually. I mean. You actually rolled well. Well, society is only if you have certain feats. Yeah. Anyway, so you're a you, Mr. Difrogalus. Let's do you first. Yours was occultism in order to in hear if anyone's talking about way uh way lines, ley lines. Yeah. The the hope being that like by fighting those people, those were the people that'd be looking into excuses to go there, and a good excuse is work. Yeah. You don't hear of anyone talking about the ley lines, unfortunately. This is a okay. this is a kind of a martial place, and they're more focused on uh, the 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 stone. Mm -hmm. But and the rage. You, you did try, and uh, let me just say, bad bad rolls. But 
Mr. Norbury. Yeet. Mr. Norbury, what did you what did you use again? <laughs> mining lore. Mining lore. Yes, there is actually a mining guild that uh is looking to gather workers to go there. And the only problem is it's a lesser known mining guild. You don't you haven't you barely even know this guild. It's like uh the Killick The Killick Mining Guild. And unfortunately, they're not having any luck because they're not able to really pay. Hmm. Now, we have Mr. Leddig. Yes. So, as you go talk with the orcs... Oh, yeah, yeah. No. Uh, you do find a few orcs, and they are talking about something. Do you want to actually talk with them, or do you want to just sit and hear what they're saying? I'll sit by and hear what they're saying first before I approach. Yeah, yeah. You know, they're still trying to find a new source for uh, the stuff after that warehouse explosion. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what do you think? I mean, what do you think they could even find something like that? Well, I mean... You know, it's kind of well known that volcanoes usually have, like, you know, good stuff. Uh, so what, you think they're gonna try to... You think they're gonna try to sneak in there and establish a secret mine or something? No way. The Shadow Pirate will rip them to shreds. Yeah, you're right, that's stupid. No one's gonna try that. That's what you over here. Alright. And as for Colette, we have been hearing that there is going to be something kaboomy at the, at that place. The place you mentioned, the the the, the volcano. Yes, yes, some some sailors. <laughs> some sailors were ta some sailors were talking about it. Now, well, they were also drunk. And one of them thought his legs were feet. Yeah, that happens a lot. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. And that's the information that you guys have all gathered. Yeah, that's not uh clarify the mining guild is having trouble paying the upkeep for the guild yeah there there's just better opportunities oh basically they're being bought out Bas basically what uh kieran is pulling on other people is being pulled on them gotcha no one said i was a good person <laughs> <laughs> Just that I was a smart person. Yep. Uh, chaotic. <laughs> good, but chaotic good. <laughs> I'm doing. I'm doing things for my for my sake. So that is the information you guys have gathered, and it is for you guys to use as you will. No dice on my side. What did y'all find out? They, they, did you get any, like, more about who? She shrugs. Okay. Did she, did she shrug? She actually physically shrugged, and I had to... <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just like, like, it seems like that, okay, that is what, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I just no, saw her no, shrug, no, and I'm sure. like, oh, this is an online game, hold on, we have to actually... Yeah, no, for sure, I was just making Ooh. sure that that wasn't a thing that was that that was gathered and was just not stated, that's all I was yeah, no, making no. sure. Alright, so, okay. uh, what about you, Mr. So, Robert? we don't... Yeah. Yeah, well, there's the Kalik Mining Guild, which has fallen on tough times because of people doing the things that you're doing, Mr. Disopolis. 
Well done. So it sounds like we've got workers we can hire. Yes. Perfect. So we just absorb them into our company. Yes. Sounds like uh, you might need to... We should go talk to them soon and then maybe send off a missive to your brother. Indeed. Uh, okay. Uh, with that in mind, uh, Ledig, what did you find? I found a rock. Okay, no. Um, so, uh, I overheard some people talking about, uh, seemingly, some people are looking for a new source of something that they might be able to find around or in volcanoes. So we mm -hmm. might have other people searching the area um, soon, especially if we start doing a lot over there and people did you, talk like spread of it. Did you hear anything about what they're trying to replace? The spe they were trying to replace the source of something after a warehouse exploded. I didn't quit the specifics on what they lost. In right. Is so something that I some sort of material from there? Yeah, something that I am putting together that I'm going to ask if it's something that my character got to put together. Sanashi, does this? Is it reasonable to presume that based off of information that have been gathered over the things that they are trying to replace? Materials that would say come from a gunpowder warehouse that some orc here may have been accidentally involved with. It is very likely that that is what they're talking about. Yeah. Extremely yeah. Okay. likely. Yes. You yeah, can it, definitely it, piece that together. Yeah. Yeah. It's likely. Yes. Okay, cool. <laughs> I, I gathered that. I wanted to make sure that I wasn't metagaming when I was saying that. So no. we're good. Cool. Let, let yeah. it was purposefully not trying to piece that together because at this current moment in time, uh, it does the specifics of that don't matter to him. He's no longer from no, that country. Right. <laughs> well, so the specifics that matter for us here is that that is our hint that Credonia is trying to get involved with this. Yeah. Because who's going to need to collect and replace sulfur, gunpowder, etc.? There's only one group that is going to look to replace that that isn't already on our side, and they wouldn't know that that's entirely what's needed yet, at least as far as we know. <clears throat> and that's Cradonia. So, yeah. uh, all right, and uh, so uh, Kieran will be like, all right, well, now we know that Cradonia is looking into this. Because... Nobody else is going to be trying to gather re uh, gather that kind of stuff in the same sort of way. So that's uh, that's a good start. Good, good, good. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can find that Kellogg Mining Company. Ah, yes. It was down that road there and to the right twice, and then I think 40 feet that way. And blah, it sounds blah, blah, like blah. A, a survival check or maybe a society check or... Uh, lore Did you say a society check? Isn't that already there? Come what? on. <laughs> Come on. Poor shit. Then there might I not will... be a society check. You walk to the top of the mountain. You walk to the top of the mountain? Okay, you see nothing because the entire fort is underground. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. That one gets you. What? That's what a nat one said. Gets. That's what a nat one gets you. I was like, yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. All right, what does uh? So there's a 22 on survival and a 17 on society. Uh, Colette and Mr. Norbury, you guys are able to put your heads together. Colette, the rats are going to like lead cheese. you. Insult. The rats are going to lead you. <laughs> Rat Thew has your back. And you navigate some twists and turns inside this stony, stony place, avoiding various drunks, weapons, and alcohol spills. Mm -hmm. Until you come to a literal hole in the wall. <laughs> now, it's a big hole in the wall. Big enough for people to fit through, but it is a hole in the wall. There's no fancy architecture to adorn this entry into the mining guild. It is just a hole in the wall. Primarily, what uh, ancestry is, is... Stone Rage? Dwarf. Some of you yeah, guys may... have a crappy miner. I thought dwarves were good with the stone work. Well, they can't hire anybody. <laughs> Damn. 
they they're understaffed, so they get a literal hole in the wall. They have miners. They don't it's have stone masons. A hole in a wall. At least shows they can make holes. That's good. Yeah, no, I mean that's good. <laughs> good start. Is it a good hole? No. Let me check but my it hole is a lore. Hole. Oh no. We're I, I have lore master. I have lore master. <laughs> okay. Okay. What is your lore master? Plus uh plus uh plus seven, boss. So what type of information are you looking for about this hole? I'm basic stru uh no structural uh, integrity. It is a very there's a difference. Like like there is a legitimate difference between making a hole that is open and making a hole that has structural integrity when it comes to mining. It does. Like, have that is a, that is a legitimate integrity. that is a legitimate question that is worth asking since we're here. Yeah, no, it is it is structurally sound. Okay, cool. So as you guys go into this entryway, there are a bunch of you know, you've seen this in various buildings within Stone Rage Mountain where they kind of made the furniture out of the place that they were digging into. No. What? Huh? What? What? Hold up. I, I missed Where? something. I think Kieran Furniture made out of stone. Oh. oh, no, no, no. I know. I know. I know exactly what was being said. Yeah, go ahead. You should try to give me a strength check on that shit. <laughs> oh, wait. Grab that. It's bolt. It's literally the part of the floor. Do I get a hef Does my hefty holler give me a bonus against? <laughs> my... <laughs> okay. So anyway, you stroll in there, and then you see a dwarf kind of kicking his feet up on a desk, and he's snoozing away uh, at a counter. And Hello. Then, you know... This is our chance. We can steal the couch and sleep. True. Very true. I don't think. Well, only one way to find out. Well, no, no, we'll just put one of our earplugs in them. Hey, yeah, uh, hello. Him up, maybe can... No, I, 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 no. <laughs> I would like to try to wake up the person, please. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, no, he's. <laughs> All right, roll, huh? 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 Roll, 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 roll a wake up check. <laughs> Roll an unarmed I'll attack roll. <laughs> I'll wake up slap the shit out of you, Greeny. <laughs> well, Greeny's not asleep, so it doesn't do the bonus damage. Don't you have bullhorn mm -hmm. now? Oh, yeah, he does have bullhorn. I, I, I mean, I do. I'm not using that on the person <laughs> I want to work with. If I didn't want to work with this person, I would 1,000% bullhorn. But there's an amount of respect you show to someone you wish to be cooperative to you. Yes. Uh -huh. what, 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 what. I, I yep. take a mirror hey, out of my uh, inventory. And when he wakes up, he's got a mirror held in front of him. No, ah! please. Nice, eh? Do you know who you're looking at? Uh, hey. uh yes. Someone okay. who will be a hell of a lot okay. richer if you come work for Labo Arms and Armor. <laughs> what the hell is Labo Arms and Armor? <laughs> That's what well. we're here to sell you on today, bud. Wait, hold on, so did we wake him up just by talking near him? Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. So he didn't hear the whole bullhorn. Oh. No. We're a okay. family-run business, and we're looking for miners that out of Caldera. Which Wait, is you're a miner? To be clear, we want the pickaxe type of miner. Uh, and yeah, the pirate Caldera? Like, Wait, are you a... I was about to say, like, are we a new babysitting agency? <laughs> That's... <laughs> the pirate Caldera is already claimed for. What do you mean? The, the overseer is sending a bunch of supplies to the town, and then they're going to... Whoever's whoever's guild decides to, you know, do that contract is gonna get all the money and riches. And... Too bad it's already open and it's already looking for miners right now. What? what? So Hold over on. here ain't gonna be new crap oh. about it. What do you mean it's already open? I think open it's, it. open. it's all We've it's already, already open. A few of the bar elements that what leave out the dangerous yep, shit yep. that we found in there? <laughs> uh, okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. You're you're all assaulting me with a lot of information at once. Okay. Yes. Okay. So it's already open, and it's okay. looking for miners right now. So if you want to act on this and get under that specsy overseer, it sounds like we've got an opportunity for you. 
And there's muscle to keep you safe. There's muscle to keep us safe? Like who? Uh, let's see, uh, the defender Let of the island itself? Let oh, the Shadow Pirate? You, you think the Shadow We're Pirate is going to allow us to mine? The Shadow of Pirate that wishes to keep the people safe and you're going to help the people have a better life? Yes, I think the Shadow is going to keep you safe, especially since we worked out a deal with it. Also, you're fucking with the mine, not with the trees. Don't fuck with the trees, just the mine. We won't come for you. All right. <coughs> all right, all right. I get it, I get it. Don't fuck with the trees or else you'll break my knees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, you're saying that you actually met the Shadow of Pirate. Yes. If you don't want to wish to leave us, right. we can... Yeah, it's oh, like, please. Shit. It's like, yeah. Oh, that's a... He oh, met... my God. What? Hold on. He met the Shadow and lived. You know and then I we did? got to talk to the Shadow and explain our situation. Mm. And the Shadow understood. I fucked with the trees. It was ironic, though. I didn't mean to... I wasn't being serious when I was fucking with the trees. But he didn't know that. It took him, it took him a while to figure that Those out. Those one fucked up encounter with the Lorax. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh... Wow, okay, um, that is a clean scar. Look at that. Yeah, right? It is. Wild. Point, point being is that if you are willing to work with us and work in the mines, the people are ecstatic to be able to have an opportunity to have the commerce that they had before. And we have a reason to not want the overseer to get their hands on it first because that's going to make shit a lot worse for a lot of people. Because, let me tell you, yeah. if they get a fresh new source of gunpowder that is very much refillable, I'm sure you understand what that means if somebody uh, turns their bad side even for a second. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I think I get you know what you're saying. All right. So, you, my friend, who I understand is, while lovely workers have been uh, struck with some bad luck trying to do it, Seems like a great opportunity for you and a great opportunity for us, doesn't it seem? Yeah, no, no. You guys are right. You guys are right. Uh, okay, let me call everybody. You you see him leave to a different door. Or leave to a door that's, you know, kind of in the back of all the tables. And then you see him alone coming out with all his gear and he's like, Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I should have expected that one. Uh, and then you see, and then you see five more dwarves come out. With okay, okay. okay, Sin. Thank you for not being <laughs> that much of a dick. I know. I, well, I just wanted I was to all for it. Okay, hold on. What we're saying is we're still one. What do you say? So it's him and five other people. No, no, we're moving on. No, I'm stopping that okay. before you get the chance. No. <laughs> no. Well, you okay? So no. What was I doing then? No. If you think so you guys take them on board your ship <laughs> and you leave do you leave and, stone rage mountain uh and then before uh before we leave uh stone rage mountain i'd like to make an additive to my flyer and say that um care uh care of the kellick mining guild who has claim to the to the mine's integrity Okay. Are, are we still going to hire additional people after them? The, we, yeah, I mean, we only have six. And also, we don't want to keep our people in the loop forever, yeah? Didn't say urgent. Ten spots left on the sign, but just don't yes. change it ever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ur yeah, no, urgent. Yeah, urgent ten spots left. You're right. Perfect. All right. <laughs> so you will start sailing towards Stone Rage. Or and before, Stone sorry, before oh, yeah. we leave Stone Rage, I just, uh, let's go ahead and have a... Uh, Okay. We don't need a. We don't need to detail the letter now. Just like have the letter going to uh, the brother now. Alex. Yes. Yeah. All right. Just Hamilton. like saying that's happening now, so that mm -hmm. Alexander can decide how he wants to add to the situation once he's ready. Um, all right. Well, well, well. This is all. All, all that happened since Ledig wasn't really doing anything. Can we say that Ledig had the foresight to buy a keg of something? Yeah, uh, left, that would be like five silver. Six, six dwarves onto the boat. <laughs> yeah, let's do uh, five silver and you have five kegs. Okay, I'll, I'll put that out of my character specific thing since I'm the one who was doing that. All right. And as you are sailing on the open ocean, you see two smaller boats following you off in the distance. 
Any identifying markings? No. They um, are cool. smaller ships, William, uh, and... Oh yeah, Kieran would too, because Kieran has sailing lore. You guys would know these as cutters. So they are like your own sailing ship, but smaller. Uh, Armaments? They, uh, they, do, they each have ballistas. One ballista. Okay. So... Um, Kieran is going to uh, request that our... Uh, we're not going to slow down, but we're going to uh, just like have our ballistas loaded and aimed. If All right, they I'll get, get within, off that. Let's say... Let's say they get within, like, what firing range would be, effectively. I'm not, like, we're not going to be, like, aiming, firing, right? But we're going to be, like, ready. Uh, if they, 80, if they 80 look feet, like... 80, 80 to 100 feet? Sure. Okay. If they if they get within that and we see their ballistas starting to move, we are going to fire first, <laughs> is, is basically what I'm saying. Okay. So they are aimed, they are aimed at 80 feet away. And if they get within that, and they are, like, and they, like, they look like they're, we're not going, we're not going to fuck around and find out, is basically what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I get All you. All right, I'll, I'll man one of the ballistas, since that's my job. Yes. Thank you. All right. So. We'll have, let's say, Oaria readied on the other one. Okay. And then, let's see, Modiri, Barley, and Ellen are not there. Uh, Bucky will man a ballista. With Alaria. Bucky? Did huh? I forget a character? Bucky is, uh, remember the mysterious passenger? Oh, right. Yeah, he's officially joined you, and uh, William nicknamed him uh, Bucky as a joke, but I liked it, okay. so... <laughs> That's what a lot of decisions being made, I mean. Yeah. Then, let's see. Captain Bucky O'Hare. I'll help uh, Bucky with his ballista. Huh? You'll help Bucky with, with the ballista? Bullets. Okay, so here you guys here you go guys. Go ahead and uh divide yourselves amongst the ballista as you feel. Uh I'm going to be starting at the wheel because I'm piloting the ship currently. Oh, yeah. So uh if uh if one of either ballista two or four will be left open so oh. that I can man that Grognak, when we you've, uh... get to coasting speed. Grognak, you've fully recovered. Everyone's fully right. recovered. It's been a few days. Basically, yeah. at least. And then you are seeing the cutters speeding up. They are starting to approach. Yeah, fuck them up. Land them up. They're, they're not. They're not. They're not within the range yet, but they are approaching. Yeah, as soon as they're within range, we are lighting them the fuck up. As unless they, like, all right, you know what? Sure. Karen will try to call out with Bullhorn. Oh, okay. Hold up. Let me, uh, oh, shit. Bullhorn, not bullshit. Okay. Anyway, you're going to call out with Bullhorn? Yep. Identify yourselves. There is no response. No answer. Who is I don't it? have names. Identify no. yourselves within. Could be time period or you will be fired upon <laughs> you see them you see them whisper amongst themselves through your looking glass and then you see them start reaching into a bag and then they once again pick up speed all right well we gave them a chance to back off so you are down to two ballistas, and you are at ballista one and three. Okay. Where do you guys want ballista one to target? The cutter on the left? They're both on the left. Right, they're... Oh, sorry. I thought you were saying one from each side. My bad. Oh, yeah. One for each side. Works. Hold on. Okay. We're, sorry. We're... If, like, if that is not the case, don't let me like speak for yeah. you. Right? Okay. But, so um... there are two cutters. Oh, right, this map on the other side. Let me... Here, yeah. I'm just going to aim the ballistas if you're cool with that. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, cool. So, like, as they get closer, we're going to have them basically aimed... Uh, you may want to move ballista 2 target yeah, up yeah. on the... Yep, yeah. there we go. Okay. Ballista 2 is now back to the front. Uh, yeah. Ballista 3, why are you not at the front? There we go. Okay, Ballista 3 is at the front. Yeah, and we'll, we'll basically just, like, uh, yeah, aim like that. 
All right, go and... ahead. Uh, let's see. Who, who wants to... Since there's four ballistas... Oh, but only two are being manned right now. Oh, three are being manned. Okay. Three are um, three are being manned. One is... Yeah, one is what, awaiting unless we can have someone move over to fire it. No? Okay. Then... Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have three ballistas. Okay, uh, yep. let's see then. How about William, Ledig, and Grognak? All three of you, go ahead and... I have I have Siege Engine buttons now. I don't know if you saw that. I think hey. I did make a character sheet for the Wayward Sherbert. Oh, yeah. Cool. Go ahead and press me. Each of you press the Ballista button down under Actions once. Um, I don't see anything under Actions. Actions. No, it's on under action. It's on the right side. Right side. Yeah. No. On the wayward no, no, no. Sherbert. I see yeah. it. Well, like. No, oh no! What the hell? Hold on! No, she's right. Weird. Okay, weird. Because I definitely see it on my side. That's why I'm confused. Maybe like I see. Like people that have the feeling that you gave no. Them the power to? No. Everyone should be able to uh, edit it and controlled by all players. Uh, nope. Not seeing shit. Yeah, I what the hell? How it is a it, it is a it is it has the name and that's it. <laughs> Everything is empty. Oh. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Don't add actions. Don't add actions yet. Sorry. Maybe try a refresh. Uh, oh yeah, maybe. Let's try that. Yep. Oh, there it is. Okay, so you guys have to open it yourselves, apparently. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that makes that makes yeah. a lot of sense. So go yeah. ahead right, and everyone go. close the wayward sherbert and then open it back up. All right, I just did. Okay, and then let's see. Yeah, it's always going to be fourteen for the top number. It's more of the bottom number that we're uh, worried it's about. Didn't do anything. All right, there we go. Um, so let's see. That so, is. One, uh, let me go back to my character sheet. Hold on. Because I have a thing. You have a thing? Yeah, I clicked it. Oh, yeah, your artillerist thing. <laughs> yeah, this is my job. <laughs> okay, so you're not making any checks to load it right now. No. Nah. And well, you already well, have we're... aimed the weapon, so okay. you're good on that part, too. Okay. Yes, he can. He's yeah. he's no. Yeah, this Gre no. Ledig is, is awesome. Later, it doesn't... No, Ledig is awesome when it comes to the artillery, especially if you guys decide to start getting heavier artillery, like heavier ballistas, catapults, bombards, explosives. No, yeah. no. Ledig is the guy you're gonna. You're oh. Ledig is the guy you're gonna want to go to for the heavier siege weaponry. Okay, so you guys basically do a nice good spread of damage here. Let's see. So we got... Heavy with Zork. So we got that. And then we got... Oh yeah, you guys are fucking them. You guys are fucking this thing, these things up. Yeah, I mean, they're... They're not going to respond to a call. They're going to get fucked up. I don't know what to tell you, boss. Yep. Because the more the world fuck around, the more they're going to find out. Yes, exactly. okay, they are going to... As you see, the distance is closing rapidly. <laughs> yes, it is. This is just, uh, you know, generic things. Yeah. So... Oh, I was, I was making a bit of, of a meme. I'll show you the meme. All right. So they are getting closer. You see them starting to aim. Uh, but they can't aim. They can't fire yet. So you guys got one. Go ahead and uh, <sighs> want some initiatives. Well, let's let's get some initiatives up in here. Hey. Yeah, I keep forgetting to also mention the incredible initiative I had. Me too. Well, I, I thought <laughs> we set it up so that your character automatically gets it, but I could be. If we did, I forgot to do that. Why is it look? Okay, hold on. Uh, okay, Kieran, you'll be rolling sailing lore for your uh. Okay. For your initiative, uh, William, you will be rolling perception. I'll be rolling shit for mine. Yeah. All right. Well, well, so we just the rest of us just roll regular initiative. You know what, Ledig? 
How about you roll engineering lore since you're operating a siege engine? Why not? Roll a what? Uh, engineering lore, I think. Um, I have four. Oh, lore that's right. You don't it. have that. Uh, initiative. Yeah. 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 Okay. It's regular for okay. everybody else. I I am just going down to click <laughs> on the button because it. You know what, Greeny? Fine. We'll take it. We'll take it. I'm, I'm just. What I'm going to. I clicked on the button and I got knocked out of roll twenty. What did I roll? Uh, you rolled a sixteen. You rolled a All sixteen, right, but oh. you also rolled on the Wayward Sherbert's page, not your own. Okay. Nice. Whoops. Sorry. But no, it's. <laughs> yeah. No, his roll is even better. Yeah. Oh, he does have a 20 as himself. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, hold on. Right. Cause... Cause mine... Yeah. My okay. initiative is plus four, and also, and also, um, we did. I also. Have... It's plus four because initiative... he has an additional thing that ups his initiative. That's what yeah. we're talking yeah, about. Initiative... Yeah, it's like my initiative. Yeah, the plus two modifier from I don't know what it's from. If it's just from the feet or not. But yeah. yeah. He's there, you, you you have a you, you have a good old swashbuckler feet. Okay. Just uh, before I do this, I have to quick initiative perception because it doesn't let lore be an initiative in the thing but then i'm really? going to roll oh, like, that's fine yeah i'll just i'll yeah, just edit just... it yeah no like i'm gonna edit it. i'm just letting you know before yeah. i click on it and you're like why'd you do that no go ahead i trust you or yeah yeah okay and then nice 19 okay that's good, that's good. unless i let's see what that 15 i'll see what that 15 get the plus eight instead up wait hold you. up doesn't you tied matter, initiative and lore hold up well, yeah, exactly. I rolled initiative to get myself on the tracker, and then I clicked the lore button. But what I should have done is just said, "Yeah, I'll no, use no, that no, roll." No, no, uh, no, no. But yeah. you, you tied, and the rolls is what I'm yeah. saying. How did no, you... I, no, I know. How? I realize because okay. I rolled an I rolled an eleven with a plus eight and a fifteen with a plus four. Well, this fucking group of people. This fucking yeah. group of people. Okay, you know what, guys? Let's do this shit. Uh, it is Grognak's turn. Grognak, it is going to take you two actions to start reloading that ballista. And then you can probably use your remaining action to aim it. Yeah, I'll do that. All right, you can aim it 35 feet. So you can go ahead and there we go. All right, this first mysterious ship. It is getting oh. You see some of the crew members pull out it gets only a little bit closer you see some of the crew members pull out a vial like like these vials and colette that's alchemist fire yes, that's alchemist fire ah. and so they are going to roll here colette since you have lesser alchemist fire why don't you uh, roll me to a lesser alchemist fire please lesser lesser <laughs> And yeah, Bucky needs to be added to the initiative. Ah, oh, shit. God damn it, I forgot to add the NPCs. Oh yeah, we need all the NPCs. Just a, it's just Alaria and Bucky. Alright, so that will be... Okay. That'll... Ooh. I didn't see Alaria in there. <laughs> Wait, how are they going to help her over to her? They're throwing it! And this just collect... Cre They're, they Off, took it from out the of... boat to our boat. So yeah, if you are just throwing it against side, the... that is a thirty. That is a thirty foot distance. Yeah. Okay. And they're just chucking it. Hmm. I wonder how their plan of alchemist fire is going to pair against my my plan of animated assaulting on their sails. And yeah, no, the the Sherbert has just taken a beating from those alchemists' fire. Well, let's see. Bucky. Oh, remember when you cast uh, animated assault that you're steering the ship, and also that their ship will be moving. It is very. Uh, so, so I know where very... I, I know where I would aim it, but it's like they're like if we're staying here, it doesn't matter for that. So this is being a huge pyromaniac today. All of our encounters will involve fire. What am I not being a huge pyromaniac? When we're all talking about beer. That is fair. I'm just setting uh I'm just setting <laughs> different, you know. Yeah. Isn't that, that yeah, yeah, that's what Alchemist Fire is, you know? It's just a Molotov. Yeah, I was about to say, isn't that Alright, so that was that mysterious ship. 
the next one is going to also start creeping and uh they're only oh, oh god yeah okay i want to take you out on the water one of these days though why 10 feet a two ships being 10 feet apart from each other yeah i know right it's like right over there All right. It's not over there. Ten feet is like more like. Oh yeah, like right where there. You're at this end. Yeah, they're basically parking alongside your ship and then just chucking yeah, alchemist fire. What? You are overthinking it. Alaria is going to move ballista I mean, one. Okay. Things to the distance of like a few knees. All right, Alaria is going to move ballista one's targets. And then she's going to use her remaining two actions to start reloading Ledig. Actually, she's going to aim at one of the crew members on the ship. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that guy in particular. BAM! <laughs> Wait, hold on, Fuck sorry. Wait, so, hold on, so I can... She's going to aim for one of the people throwing alchemist fire. Uh, All, right. Yeah. All right, Ledig, your turn. All right, so I'm on Ballista... Three. Three. So I definitely need to re aim. Um, and remember, you can move at 70 feet. Uh, fair, but I don't think there, we'll need to move it that far. Um, no, you won't, but well, I think you do well, need to move it more than that 30. What means is that, um, okay, so let me just measure it. So, one, two, no. yes. Well, they're coming the closer. To, they're coming closer to us. So if I aim for the far side of the, uh, if I aim for around here, they'll be more likely that it'll be less, yeah. ch less chance I'll need to move it next time. So if I can pick it up. Um, so we'll go for here. Okay. Yeah. And then you're going to use your remaining two actions to start reloading? Uh, yep. All right. Bucky is going to... Actually, he could interact with that ballista. Okay, so Bucky sees that Alaria sure, yeah. and William have uh, ballista number, you know... Ballista number one. So Bucky's going to help you, Ledig. He's okay. going to finish reloading the ballista. And did you aim it at any of the uh, crew members in particular on the ship? Um, I didn't know where they were on the ship specifically. Just, 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 lined up just, really say if, just say if you are or not. All right. Yeah, I aimed it at one of them. All right. Go ahead. And then Bucky will fire. And we have to make some reflex saves here. Go ahead and roll that, uh, hit that ballista button for me. Or no, I have to. Yeah, no, go ahead and yeah. you you do it. You do it. I have to roll a save. Uh, well, I think regardless of what you roll on that ballista check. Yeah, no, he's become paste. Because he crit. Because if we remember, crit if you failed. crit failed a basic, re a basic saving throw, you take double the damage. So and he took 50 in the ship. He took 50. Oh, wait. oh no, doesn't he take more than 50 because of how the size modifiers work for, like, ship combat and stuff? No, he's that's only in uh, Star Wars. Right, okay. He's fucking done. No, he is fucking done. There is nothing left of the man. A spray of mist. <laughs> he is a spray of mist. All right, Kieran. And how did the, how did the ship do on the reflex save? <laughs> no, 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 he wasn't aiming at the ship. That's the thing. It's like oh, it pierced through the man and hit the ship. No, no, it, that's the thing. It, it didn't. What? It, it didn't oh, even have a chance okay. to go through the ship. It just sailed okay. right over the ship through the man. Okay. He, he was left with a gaping hole in him, and then he just okay. exploded. All right. So remind me what I need to do to keep this ship, of course, so that I don't. Uh, sailing start. lore. Okay, and that's just like I do a sailing lore, and then the ship is good and steady. Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm going to roll my sailing war check. Okay. S ship's still on course. Cool. Perfect. Uh, mm. Okay, so... Alright, so this ship over here, I'm going to focus on its sails, but I'm going to put it out a bit so that it's got some... They've got some room even if they do move forward. And uh, I'm going to cast Animated Assault for the other two actions on my turn on the sails. Okay. Uh, that's so, an object, so I think, think it can really get a reflex save. 
seems reasonable. Point being is I want to like absolutely massacre their ship. Yeah. Through the idea no, that okay. like objects are like stray objects on their ship and stuff like just like floating in the water that's just like random decrept barrels are now mm -hmm. just swirling in a 10 foot burst higher up so it's going through them and the ship basically yes all right go ahead so and roll me some I'd damage like the, on that i'd like the people on the ship and the sails to roll this reflex save for oh, 14 God. damage and then every turn i get to sustain it i gotta take a leak during all that what i miss uh so I have this spell called Animated Assault. Basically, I'm pulling uh, random debris from the ground on their ship and inside Those the ocean. Guys. And everything in the Three area takes 2d10, which is Two 14. And then, uh, and then any uh, every uh, turn thereafter, I get to sustain it. And it's focused... It's focused out here in a ten burst, uh, ten foot burst area. So even if they move forward, they're likely still going to be caught by it. And that's some shit that's going to be hard to go through, I'm sure, because it's fucking chaos. All right, so one guy's dead, and then the other oh. two suffer, and then the other three suffer some Stop. significant damage. Yep, and that's uh, that is my turn. All right, Colette. Uh. I'll show you. you. I'll come fire. They're pretty close. You, you could probably use your far lobber to hit any of them. Were you trying to also roll an intimidation check when you were doing oh, that? Yes. <laughs> Ooh. How much AC does a boat have, Sanashi? Uh, definitely not tw Definitely not, not enough. Not enough. <laughs> well, no. Is it? Oh God. Which are when are you hitting? Up or right. up or down? The one that lobbed at us, I think, it was the down one. Down one? No, they both lobbed at you. Oh. Yeah, I got one for each one of them. Yay. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, Sin, so is there AC? 14. Uh, it is actually less than 14. So, we're taking, uh, and 22. because, yeah. I don't know. 22. About it's, well, oh, no, it's this, way more it, than that. Funny. Yeah. So, yeah. So, it's 11. So, it's 11. And then, at least if their boat has the same downside that ours does, it probably has a weakness 15 to fire. So, that's 26, then doubled to 52. Simple dumb does the ship don't explode. Oh, and, oh, and it has an additional persistent two fire damage. Oh, uh, well, you okay. Colette, nice. Uh, yeah, nice. That wasn't a crit one, though, but damn. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, wait, are you spreading the damage? Are you spreading? One to one ship okay. To the other. Okay, so that's not. Okay, okay. And those it is worth looking... noting that the bottom one also has persistent two fire damage. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's gonna that's gonna suck for that. William! Did you say persistent oh. 17? <laughs> Yeah. Did Alaria load the ballista? Yeah, she did load the ballista. So Once, you just have to so load, I have it, to load and then... it the second time. Yeah, yeah. and I'll then you can fire. fire. Fire button. Show yourself. There. All right. Grognak. Zug zug, brother. <laughs> What'd you say, Grognak? Since I already reloaded, I'm gonna fire at the top of it. Okay. Let's see some damage. Ooh. It starts sinking. It has too many holes in the hull. And plus it's uh, you know, got a bit of fire damage. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one. Ooh. This one takes is, uh... two persistent fire damage. Yes, it does. It does. <laughs> but it is going to you actually see the people on board lob an alchemist fire at their feet what <laughs> oh okay no i no i get it okay and they actually start going away from your ship as they sink and they start move they, they start trying to move the ship so that they're uh getting as far away from you as possible before they sink that's not suspicious at all. No, we're gonna... Yeah, okay. 
Uh, so the top one is currently sinking, yeah? Yes. They're both currently sinking. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. But this one's closer and not able to keep moving is more so what I am getting at. Yes. All right. <laughs> yeah. What? Well, well, yeah, one of them maxed out that 12. Love yep. to see it. All right. Hey, we're going to board that. We're going to... We're going to see what we can salvage off that top one. We know we need to know why we're being attacked. They keep throwing alchemist fire at their feet. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if they're gonna keep trying, if they're gonna keep trying to burn themselves alive, we're still going to try to get what we can off of that ship. All right. All right. So uh, you guys are gonna just let it kind of go like this because I... it's all momentum. Yeah, we're we're going to let it go like this, and then basically while we're doing, I'm just going to have everyone aim their aim their range weapons at the people, so they can stop throwing alchemist fire to like slowly chip away at the people on the ship, and just like try to like shoot one or two of them in the knees or something, or like in the hand, try to keep a few alive if we can help it. You Whatever see you them. want that okay. to be. Uh. Hmm. I'm going to say you guys are going to get one round. Yeah. I'm going to say if one round. Up. Okay. Let's start back okay. at the top. Yeah. So With uh, Grognak. Uh, okay, Grognak, they are close enough to board. Are you going to board? No, I'm just shooting with my uh, crossbow. All right, you'll shoot one of them with your crossbow? Yeah, that's... It's fine. It's fine. We're good. Well, I mean, I will uh, I'll jump over there, I guess. Yeah. So, so basically, okay. Here's what I am asking, and you can choose to interpret or take that however you will. I want at least one of them alive to try to get as much answers as we can to why we were just attacked, because we do not know why we were attacked, and they were coming to kill us. Like you do not, you do not throw alchemist fire at a ship that you're looking to board and hijack or steal from. You are trying to kill the people on that boat when you do that. And then, even weirder, they try to kill themselves thereafter. And they have no identifying marks of any kind, even as they move closer? Was that true? They have no identifying marks. They are covered in robes? What about the ship itself? Like the flag? Uh, nope, there's yeah, no, no flag. We, no, that's the first question we asked, and there's no flag, there's no marks. Hey, there's no um... marks on them, there's no marks on the ship. It is a nondescript group of people are there seagulls uh, what what are there seagulls? what not yet <laughs> but uh okay yeah, so grognak uh, you yeah. uh board one of the you board the ship okay you know, board um, and grab someone come back over make an athletics check you fucking swan die <laughs> <laughs> 20 oh yeah no he you is fucking what? no he's fucking grabbed by you grab three of them <laughs> no, no, just, no just like <laughs> just just grab them from the back of the head while this like is a, against like the baby rules, cat <laughs> well this is against the rules normally and i'll allow you to actually jump back on the ship with him too <laughs> the the power of the fucking triple flip <laughs> and now you see them after grognak grabs one of them the others are starting to you see them pull rope out of their pockets they go over to the grate of the ship, and you see them actually tie the ropes to their ankles and then to the grate. We already got one, so I'm good go now. You guys are so good. You guys want so, me to get okay, one? Okay, sorry. Sorry. Okay. Me asking a question. Yeah. They're basically trying to extra sink themselves, if, if I'm understanding. They are trying like, to, They're not even giving themselves a chance to float. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm just making sure that I'm understanding that. You correctly. are understanding like, that. You are understanding okay, cool. that. No, they are yeah, going they... down. Okay. Um. Yeah. Well, uh... They're all the captain of the ship, and they're going down with it. All right. That's basically it. Yeah. yeah. That's basically the yeah, nautical no, cyanide capsule. Yeah. Yeah. Cyanide. Yeah. No, you're right. You guys want me to do anything? Okay. Um. um oh, are should... you? It... Fly should... to. Okay. So ships normally have an area that's sort of dedicated that would be an office area, yes? Yeah. I want Alaria. It's like Alaria, fly into like would uh, knowing ships, Kieran would know where to point. Yeah. And be like, fly into that room, grab any documents you see, and get out. Got it. 
She'll enter sure. rage. I mean, any we'll 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 take we'll take anyone's on fire too and try to salvage them if we can help it. So like, what? Ba I trust Alaria to grab whatever she can, basically. Yeah, Alaria goes down below the. She she jumps on board and she's going to go into the little cabin area that they have. Ledig, what are you doing? Um, I'm gonna. Uh, okay. Um, all right. I'm gonna ask a dumb question. Go ahead. Collect. There are no dumb so questions. I, I was going to ask this earlier, uh, but then thankfully, um, uh, Grognak got one just in case this is a stupid idea. Uh, I want you to hand me a cork. A cork? A cork. Okay. We we have right. a cork in a barrel. It's no longer in the barrel. Yes. All right. So I'm. So my actual main thing is I'm going to jump with Alaria after her and help try to help her. Uh, the cork is to, in case I find someone, I can try to shoot them non-lethally. <laughs> okay, no, I like it. Okay. Okay, I like I like your thinking. Okay. Okay, my bad. No, yeah, no, no, no. Put a cork on it. Put a cork on it. I'm thinking the crossbow version of the green arrow's fucking boxing arrow, but you get my point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you put a cork on the end of a crossbow bolt, still got all the force. What do you wish me to do? Be um, ready to grab them if they need to get off the ship quick. Got it. So ba basically what I'm asking is Bucky to be like hanging over the edge with like a rope. Basically yes. be, be able Bucky to grab them if will, it sinks too uh, fast. Yeah, he will also enter rage. Sick. Yeah, you guys You guys have three barbarians on the ship. Totally randomly, yeah. by the way. Yeah, yeah. Like, All right, fair the enough. berserk Bucky. The Buzzock Bucky! Alright, <laughs> Mr. Dipragolus? Uh, Dicephalus is going to keep the... Keep the ship, uh... Just keep the ship steady. Yep, keep the and... ship steady? Got it. I don't even... I'm not yep. even going to require you to roll uh, sailing. Okay, cool. Colette. It turns out, as we were very unlucky, all the important documents were on the other ship. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wouldn't that... Wouldn't I be a stinker? <laughs> yes. Yeah, you could. Maybe help Alaria with uh, documents, because maybe Colette would understand more important documents. I wait, like what are we? No, what are we? Kieran is asking for everything. Kieran doesn't care about important yeah. or not. He's asking um, for yeah. everything. Yeah, that's why. Like, I Kieran isn't that's... saying find the important documents. Kieran's saying if there's a piece of paper that might have been a napkin, I don't care. I want it. Yeah, I don't and think I can I... hop over there and hop back without too much. At least have at least I have half right, dollars. So, so that's going to take your turn. It's going to take a turn. Basically, everyone's going to be on, in the ship. That's going to be one turn, and then the next turn is everyone getting off the ship. Okay. What about you, William? I'm in the water. I'm going to help you. Oh, he he didn't even ask me to do an acrobatic check, so I thought we were fine. <laughs> yeah, no, you guys. Yeah, no, Colette, you don't have to do an acrobatic check. It's fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, anyway, William, I'm sorry. What were you? Uh, what were you doing? During the guy that Okay. And then. How do you? How do you? We could also put water bombs on this ship if, uh, if we wanted to stop running. Saving the saving the ship isn't worth it. No, it's 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 full yeah, of holes. It's, it's full of holes. If it's for the sake of us getting back on off of it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If you can make it, if you can make it sink less quickly by breaking some of the fire that's happening closest to the water, then yeah. But we're not trying to salvage a ship. We're trying to get on, get off. No, I didn't want to salvage. Okay, okay, so hold on. Let William uh let William interrogate. Securing. I'm I'm tying him up oh, with a rope. Oh securing! Oh, you're tying him up with a rope, okay. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I thought you said interrogating. No. Alright. Grognak, uh William has taken care of your passenger. What do you wish to do? Jump back over and grab another one. Alright. You now have to uh you now have to I you're, you're gonna I would recommend. <laughs> I mean, they're fucking tied down. They're not gonna they die. Don't, they don't. They don't need a foot. <laughs> okay, just hold on. Brute force DC... ripped the grate right off. <laughs> All right, Grognak, I'm gonna need you to make yeah. me an athletics check versus DC 16. 24. You ripped the goddamn foot off of one of them. Okay. <laughs> Like the, not even the like the boat is still there. There's just the foot attached to the boat. With those checks, you should All right, hold the on ship to the boat will to sinking. The ship will sink after the next round. Okay. 
Uh, is the other ship also done, or is it oh, still? Oh no, the, the other ship. The other ship is. You know, they're way too far away. Uh, okay. It's all on fire. Noted. <laughs> no shit. Ah, ah, here, 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 here. Alari's just gonna start tossing you papers, Ledig. They're all on fire, by the way. Thanks. Um. <laughs> And then right. at, she tosses you a few. She tosses you like three papers, and then she books it out of the. Uh... Actually, you know what? She's not gonna book it. She's gonna use all three of her actions to just chuck you a handful of papers that are on fire. <laughs> um. Okay. Question: What's all in the room? Before I say what I'm about to say, you see, you see like two bunk beds, and then a drawer. Everything is on fire. Right. Okay. I grab the drawer. Or the dresser, I should say. Oh. Are you just gonna are you just gonna yank out a drawer? I am gonna flip okay, how big is the that dresser? That would be good. That would be a good idea. Just uh, yank out a drawer. Say drawer. It sounds like I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Drawer. I meant to say dresser, but a dresser does have okay. drawers. Okay, right, how big is the dresser? Oh, it's two drawers. Two drawers? Can I lift two drawers? Is there a couch? Uh, like, is there a couch? There is not a You know what? Like, the couch is on I fire. Keep, I keep, I keep, basically, this is just me trying to figure out exactly what the limits of the hefty hauler thing are. Because um, I've never really you had could, to use it. You don't have to lift the entire dresser, but I will allow you to lift both drawers out of the dresser and then basically carry them on your shoulders. All right. See, so yeah, I grab the dresser. I, not, I grab both of the drawers, basically, yeah. Uh, <laughs> How you do um, Yeah. Um, is Colette nearby? Colette is nearby, yeah. She's like, behind right. you. Well, I'm just like, Colette, water bomb these and let's go. That'll be on my turn. Okay. Yeah, I know. But I'm just, no, no, I'm, I'm just talking, talking as a free, yelling as a free action. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. So yeah, one action. Like, yeah, I'll water bomb on my turn. All right. <laughs> so Bucky is, uh, Bucky standing by. Letting as you, uh, as you and Colette bucket with the drawers, he is, you know, he's helping you guys get back on the ship. Yeah. Mr. Disopolis is still keeping the course steady. Colette yeah, is back on the, the ship. Keeping the course steady and basically, like, um, instructing, says, the miners are on our boat, yeah? Yes, the miners are on your boat. Ba basically just, like, telling the miners, like, clear one of the rooms so that we can store, so, uh, like. Yeah, you can store prisoners, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, you guys have a not, jail not, cell. Not, no, no, not store prisoners. Kieran is, um, okay. There's stuff that is very good at being fire retardant that's, that would be in the kitchen reasonably. Is that a reasonable oh, thing yes, to say? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Basically, Kieran is saying, take one, like, take, basically, Kieran would be like, thing that I know is on the ship. Grab that, put it in this room. We have to set shit that might burn on it. And uh, just uh, tell them yeah, to be yeah, out yeah. of that well, area. Well, yeah, well, cool, yeah, yeah, thanks, yeah. good. And it, yeah, Kira's basically saying we don't need to catch our ship on fire and he and knows how to avoid it and it's happening. Cool. Yes. Thanks. William, are you going to tie up the dude that's screaming because he's lost a foot? Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, legs first. Okay. Legs first. <laughs> Leg first. <laughs> All right. Don't worry, have the ship's on fire. Use that. No, yeah, yeah. All right, Food, Grognak. I held it in the flames to have caught her. Grognak, you have one more chance. To get one more passenger. Are you going right, to do yeah. This? yeah. Try to rip someone else's foot off. <laughs> yep. All right, go ahead. Uh, DC 16 Athletics. Let's go. 18. All right, you rip. You rip the foot <laughs> off, and yep, you're back on the ship. And then the ship has sunk below the waters. Alaria was still on board. Alaria can fly. Oh, oh wait, Alaria, uh, hold on. I okay. No, she so was I, in the I, cabin. Yeah. Okay. So I was okay. So I forgot that my turn ended after just picking up the two drawer. Two no, drawers. you picked up the two drawers and then you booked it. Okay. okay. Yeah. Oh, is it like? I was like, come on, yeah. let's go. Yeah, you and Colette booked it once you had the drawers. Alaria, however, you see her surface in the water. Oh. Yeah. No, she's fine. And then she swims up to the ship, and you see her actually just. Climb up the side with no assistance. 
she actually has a feat that allows her to do that. It gives her a climb and a swim speed while she's raging. Sick. <laughs> she is. Mm -hmm. She's basically a pint-sized knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> unlike, <laughs> unlike Bucky, she <laughs> does not chuckle. Well, okay. well, to be to be fair, also, uh, she can she can swim on that knuckles. Really, this is a high seas adventure. I didn't realize that that's how people got their wooden legs. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, yeah. but as you guys are uh you know as you guys are going to take the rogues, the uh you know, these people below deck, you do see a seagull fly by your ship. Damn it. Yeah. It could be coincidental though. We don't know for sure. It looks What's happening? at Sorry. you guys. <laughs> right, so I shot the seagull. <laughs> yes, you did. It. You see. You just hear a my shot was to distract. Goal. Fuck. And then you just see the goal. <laughs> see the goal. <laughs> okay. Okay. That was an accident. That was. I, I was it's over trying there. to roll damage and I accidentally rolled a critical hit. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Hold on. With the or did you... Oh, you knocked out the seagull! <laughs> yes, right. just fucking yeah, sure. bludgeon like it in the that. head with a cork bolt. That's what you had loaded. Fuck. Well, I didn't know if you changed it. To... No, now it's just no, floating no, in the just, fucking I water, was... unconscious. Grab <laughs> that seagull, get it as a prison. I was busy. It's too far. I, it's I too was... far away. Damn. You know what? Another <laughs> another seagull flies by and picks it up. And flies away. <laughs> the seagull oh no! <laughs> Leave the poor seagulls alone. No, they have done no, nothing. no! Get a fucking magic <laughs> missile, that seagull. I mean, done William, you missed. Okay, let the seagull. No, go. I'm Let fucking. Ma I'm this. magic missiling that seagull. Fuck okay, it. Okay, <laughs> that seagull's dead. <laughs> cool. We're feeding those seagulls to the prisoners. All right, so you guys now have a bunch of prisoners on board. And seagulls. Cool. Yeah. And two seagulls. Yeah, that are Collect being turned their, their into it. dinner. Tur they're being used specifically as uh, dinner for the prisoners because I presume that these are uh, seagull cultists, so this is going to torture them more. Okay. And I want, Col I want Colette to make them as delicious as possible just to fuck these people up more. <laughs> we take it. We, we do take, take it. it. Okay. So what are you? So you have them. Are you going to do anything with them? Yes, I'd like. To, I'd like to start talking to them. Uh, okay. So you three here. We've got you uh, under duress, and let me tell you, staying on the ship is going to be a fate worse than any death you could cause yourselves. If, more limbs I can rip off. Yes, as you can see, my big. Burly man here, and I would like to point to Grognak and have Grognak do some sort of intimidation via his uh, methods. I think that exactly. That, that's already of the intimidation. That's, but that's my point. Is like I like we can't even, we can't even Kieran is, limbs. I'm saying that Kieran himself is not intimidating them. Kieran is using the fact that Grognak can do literally anything to them and make sure that they stay alive through it. As the intimidation, so I would, yeah, so I would like Grognak to be the intimidating. Oh yes, what Grognak. I am... You know what? Okay, that, I, I have a yeah. thing. I have a thing. Absolutely, I like it. I like your combination. So, Kieran, I want you to make me an intimidation check to aid Grognak in an intimidation check. Absolutely. So go ahead, you two make intimidation checks. I believe that is a success on my aid check. Should I add my intimidating glare on there too, or? Oh damn. Uh, I mean, uh, they they just they just kind of look at you guys. Just... Can I spend my hero point on Grognak? Oh, Grognak, you haven't spent your hero point yet. Do you want to spend a hero point to re-roll? Yeah, sure. Okay, go ahead. Two <laughs> tritles. <laughs> Okay, sh should I try to throw one in to help since I have intimidating glare as well, or? Go ahead. Yeah, you can also intimidate. Yeah, go ahead. All right, sure. Uh, I don't think just... my, my my mind is not gonna 
Yeah, mine's not going to be any better. Oh my <laughs> god, guys! All suck. <laughs> all suck. <laughs> Roll a twenty. Roll a twenty. Does Alaria have intimidating glare? This is a good question. Alaria does not actually. But she is going if, to if, intimidate. If we're, if we're operating under the assumption that I didn't actually shoot the corked bolt at a fucking seagull, can I shoot one of them in the nuts? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You recovered the bolt. Sure, why not? Yeah, sure. Go ahead and sh shoot one of them in the nuts. fucking nuts. Like, we'll we'll yeah. see what they say first, but I'll add that as one of the All fucking right. interrogation options is at any point I can shoot one in the nuts. <laughs> Alaria is going to uh, crack her knuckles and just be like, you don't want to mess with me when I'm angry. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's, that's Christ. Christ. I think Who's... the cultists. I think at this point the cultists are like, "God damn, we lost to these idiots." <laughs> she just—they just raise an eyebrow. At, her. Like, like, they, like, at this point, they're just uh, embarrassed. <laughs> She no, she fucking cracks her knuckles and she just like has she like sprains her wrist. Ow, ow, ow. It's like it's like those DBZ videos where they do the yeah, crack basically. noises and the character screams. All right. Ow, my greatest weakness, myself. All right, all right, great, wonderful. I see that we've made a fun show of. Uh... All right, I okay. Here, here's my here's my angle of attack that I would like to try on this. Let's I would go like for to it. either use. Occultism or lore master. Lore master is one better in case either can apply for this. Karen basically wants to start bisecting them by looking at them and figuring out. Like, Karen has reasonable suspicion that these guys are like seagull cultists or whatever the fuck they are. Um, whatever they're uh, lords of like followers of the lords of the death. And basically, Karen just wants to like slowly start picking away at the parts like. You know, you like uh, ba basically wants to like make them. F what's the way to say this? Pick apart their logic. Here, basically, what? Yeah, it. what's a fuck? What? What? Yeah, make them feel like fucking idiots. Okay. And mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> okay, um, so uh, what do you? What? What type of logic do you want to pick apart first? You got you got a decent roll, so let's go with this. Yeah, Karen basically just starts just starts uh, is like oh yes. And you, you are such wonderful beings throwing away your lives for such a grand cause. And that's Bird. why you get to feel so... Ugh, fuck. Okay, sorry. I'm very tired right now. And no, it's like, okay. you get your... It's like, and your God gets your grand awakening and get you get your way. And yet... And yet... You're not getting any praise or wondrous exit. Your friends are sinking at the bottom of the ocean and there's going to be no way for them to escape. Their souls are not leaving the bottom of that ocean. They are trapped there forever with no release from your grand deity. They are just going to suffer like you are here. Shut up. <laughs> Did you say that in character? Can you please yes? shut Oh up? my god! <laughs> shut up! <laughs> All right. Um, uh, I don't speak common. One of them says. What? <laughs> In common. Me no speak Spanish. No hablo uh, inglés. You don't speak English. Okay, let's country. try. Let's try. Elven, Draconic, Jotun, Sylvan, Orcish. Your pig Latin. They. Hold up. I gotta. I gotta see what languages How they know. How are they that they don't speak common? No, they no, they they just said I don't speak common in common. Um. Okay. Okay. So let's. Okay, everyone, pull our languages together. What languages does everybody know? Uh, let's see. We all know Dwarven, Gnomish, Elven. I don't know Dwarvish, Elven, or Gnomon. <laughs> One of them Dominant. says I don't speak Sylvan in Sylvan. What do you say? He says I don't speak so Sylvan, he doesn't in speak Sylvan. Sylvan in Sylvan. Sylvan in Sylvan. Yeah. Yes. All right, do I try a under different common? one? He doesn't speak what? Aquan and Aquan. Does he speak that? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Oh. oh, so you're you're gonna try to punch them after you try to pick apart my logic? Thanks. Well, apparently they don't speak the languages we're speaking, so they're gonna learn some sort of language. William, Scream they once again languages. they say I don't speak. One of them says I don't speak Aquan in Aquan. 
All right, okay, clearly there's some sort of weird cult nonsense happening here. It is not just... Uh, who, who is does not anyone want to make a? Does anyone want to make a society check? I mean, sure, uh, I'll make a society sure. check gladly. Yeah, uh, you know what? I don't think I need I to bother. I, yeah, I definitely do not need to... Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, um, so... Can I, actually, there was one role I was meaning to ask about earlier. Um... Can I do a knowledge warfare to see if I can glean, like, from what I remember of the boats, if I can glean off of where they might have come from? Hold up. Honestly, I thought you were going to use your warfare more to see if I don't speak language in the language was one of the uh, prisoners of war tactics. What? No, well, that might have been a thing later, yeah. but right now I was thinking of also okay, trying to cool. figure out where they might have come from. Yeah. You know, yeah, right? cool. Okay, yeah. Care. Kieran will just move down to the Kieran one that number. said that it didn't speak common, and then just look them in the eyes. It says, he starts moving right. his eyes up and down. Yep. You don't speak common, eh? All right. Nope. Don't speak a single word of common. Yeah. No. I no. I understand. I understand. It's fine. We'll see how long uh, you can't speak common for. All right. Uh, Kieran is going to get assistance <laughs> from, uh, no, uh, well, yeah, I mean, Colette did just punch one of them in the face, <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, she did. Um, yeah. Uh, Kieran would like to tie them up in the prison cells, hanging from their hands and tying the one foot down for the two that only have one foot. And the <laughs> one both, uh, just tie, just specifically like, tie, like, holding them, like, stiff yeah yeah no, no i get you i yeah. get you okay yeah. um, and karen's gonna hold them there and it's like okay we're gonna come to you every day and we're gonna see what you have to say if you say just... that you cannot speak the language you're not gonna eat and we're gonna make sure that you get to keep breathing as long as possible until you speak your language yeah can i try something sure Absolutely. go ahead let it go what i'm just got a curiosity more than anything else so i got a new pen so I might as well use it um can i try writing this sentence um, can you read these words in the four languages that I know? Yeah, sure. All right, on a piece of paper, and I show it to all each of them. One of them replies in Orcish that he cannot read that. They're they're fucking with us right now. Can I engage sure. in psychological I, I, warfare? Actually, I, I, ooh, actually, ooh, guys, I, guys. William did say. I, I would just please. like to be annoyingly gullible and pretend that I believe them, and then just try and just discuss it with them for hours on end, endlessly, until they cave in. Okay. Oh. Well, I mean, there's also, there's also the fact that they seem to know literally every language. Uh, what happens if I try saying, do you, do you know the, can you read these words, but each other word I change the language? They... Do just start fucking of... with them more. What <laughs> yes. a... You yes. see between the three of them, as you change the language, you see the three of them reacting differently. Like okay. one of them, one of them will look like he understands, and then one of them will not look like he understands, and you know. I thought you were going to do the whole see no evil, see no evil. <laughs> I mean, it's similar. No. Yeah. But okay, right. William. Yeah. So what? What? So you are going to un they yeah, yeah, make I'm you're going to make them believe that you think that they don't speak the languages? Or... Yeah, I'm just going to be like annoyingly, persistently gullible for hours on end. No, no, just try and teach them the language. Like, point to things, <laughs> this is a yeah, yeah, yeah that's part of just it. Just start teaching yeah. them common. This is wood. You <laughs> are hung up by a rope. Yeah. yeah. Speak gibberish. I want to speak okay, gibberish. hold up. I Like, no one understands what the hell I'm saying. Actually, what, 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 let, let's speak, let's speak. Look, if we're just going to gibberish, I'm going to just going to try, I'm going to try speaking backwards or writing backwards then at that point. No, I, I love the idea of just like having them tied up and William is just teaching them common. 
Yeah. I just want to pick a language from a different game. Like, I'm going to talk Simmish. Simlish. Um, hey, Glenn. Is it Simlish or is it Simlish? Sim I thought Simlish. it was Simlish. I thought it was Simlish. Could be wrong, though. I thought it was Simlish. I like how we're all, we all, I like how we've all just completely just gone completely different directions on different directions on how to fuck with these people. <laughs> they want to fuck with us. They're going to get fucked with right back. Yep, yep. Uh, I, do, I do like the idea of William just like. I, I think I just like the idea of speaking Klingon, a language that doesn't even exist. Yes. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Yes, go for it. She, if she decides As for to every it. one of you, I am going. Yeah, oh, okay, so I'm going to say this is going to be their will DC. I I would generally like the idea of William trying to teach them common slowly over the over the trip. Yeah, the, the only other thing I thought the only other thing the other the only other thing I thought to try was um also just writing backwards. <laughs> So, and see if they start speaking backwards. So here's how it's going to go out, okay? Colette, they just look at you confused as you speak your gibberish. Oh, they didn't even take gibberish, No. <laughs> William, they just play along with you. Oh, the entire time? Yes, the entire time. I enjoy it because I get to teach. <laughs> and each day Mr. Disopolis' plan of starving them that they don't cooperate they refuse to cooperate can I, can I ask the people with the knowledge of occultism to ask if there is some sort of literal like brainwashing given we're in the ocean there's a lot of water around <laughs> uh, I can tell that they're fucking with us they are specifically fucking with us this isn't this isn't like they are brainwashed in this like I mean we we like they're they were willing to kill themselves, so there's only so much we can do. I would consider waterboarding. Would you like to waterboard them? That's <laughs> an intimidation for coercion. I mean you guys can, you know, each day try a co uh another intimidate check, so each each day we slaughter a seagull in front of them as an insult to their god. Each day. Oh, I mean, I figured I figured making them eat the seagull would fuck with you them know. enough. Oh, the yeah. next day, yeah, I just show up with an old parchment that I had, and I go twenty six flouts armed with balliste, ten caravels armed with balliste, <laughs> and I go through that whole spiel again. <laughs> yeah, that <was> god, <laughs> I love god. that. That was good. <laughs> that was good. Oh, they just Jesus look at you Christ. like. Damn Awkwardly, it, hey? our best our best person at, at intimidation is Alaria. I mean, we'll get Alaria in to try again. <laughs> there we go. Alaria did it. There's something. Uh, let's let's see if Grognak does well though. Grognak, go ahead and. No. Nope. Oh, okay. Well, damn. <laughs> yeah, Grognak's got the plus okay, two. Okay. Okay. I could try a listen. Odd tactic. You're gonna try an try odd tactic. Try to seduce him. You're gonna I'll... make a diplomacy yeah, I'll just, check. I'll just start... <laughs> Start rubbing their face, kissing them on the cheek, rubbing their cheeks. <laughs> oh no, I love this. Yeah, just make them extremely uncomfortable. Yeah. Just... Go go ahead and uh, roll me a diplomacy I check. Doing this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I remember just yeah, the, my diplomacy just a... is shit though. So. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. Yeah. Grog, yeah. Mac, I'm scared. I failed my will save, and I am indeed uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, listen. You guys can't stop anything. So then why does it matter if you say anything? If we can't stop it, then the worst thing you could do is tell us what we want to know. That is the worst thing. That is exactly the worst I mean, thing we not, can do is tell not... you what we know. Yeah, but it doesn't stop anything, fucking... does it? If you if believe you in your believe, fucking plan so matter. much. And then you knowing it also doesn't stop it, so... Well, clearly, if yeah, you're so devoted you, to your faith, you said it yourself. The, you should stop so doing so. There's no reason else to tell us. Clearly, if you're clearly if you don't believe in your faith enough, that this is showing that you don't believe in what you're thinking of here. Let's if see. you think it can be so easily undone by, let's be honest here, five goobers on a boat. Well, you take that back. 
<laughs> yeah, it's like it seems like you're telling you're telling us that you think we can stop it, which I'm sure your god would love to hear. That eh. you think we could stop it if you were so worried about telling us this. Mm. You know what? Yeah. I think you can stop it. You know what? I think you can stop it. I think you can stop it. I do totally think you can stop it. I think he's hoping yeah, for what, what, Yeah, what, what can we stop? What What is it that we can stop if you are so sure that we could stop it? If, if, if you think we could stop it, it's probably already been stopped by now. <laughs> yeah. And your impact on everything they just, they just smile at that point. They just smile at you, Kieran. Yeah. Why can't we stop? They just smile at you. That's it. Yeah, right, no. Kieran's gonna no. Kieran is All going right, to keep I'm ignoring them. Like, All right. All right. No, 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 no. Here we're no. Here's plan now. Kieran is going to start speaking in bullhorn. <laughs> and <laughs> please, as, as, as after like the fifth please. time you bullhorn them. Uh, Kieran's not even gonna let them speak. Kieran's gonna keep doing it. You see I'm their curious. eyes glow yellow. Yeah, Kieran's gonna keep doing it. All right. And then they close their eyes and they go limp. Oh, all right, cool. Well, well, they did. Oh, we, we never right really banished the uh, feet, so blood loss probably got to him. That's what happened. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I thought you said you tied him up by the feet. I mean, yeah, I did tie them up by the feet. Okay, so are they all dead? Yes. The, yes. As you open uh, their can eyes, can I roll some sort of occultism check on the like what like what that yellow light could have been? Oh, well, it's the same yellow light that's the one. Um... I yes, I just want to make sure that that's the case and not assume that. You can yeah, you can safely assume that uh, the Lord of the Depths is has committed some fuckery. You don't know exactly what, but it it is some fuckery. Can okay. I, so so does this mean that we can't like bring them to whoever revived Frogman and just revive one of them into a frog and just like all right you they you might not end up as world? frogs. Also, well, they have you... to accept being revived. That's Dang true. It. Yeah, they do. Dang it. We we do not have access to the power where you can revive someone unwillingly. Yeah, that's called necromancy. But yeah. anyway, you uh, to close out this session. You reach Pyrith, and the dwarves unload. Ah, oh, God, that's no offense, but uh, I kind of hope we never have to ride with you again. <laughs> yeah, didn't expect to be chased down by cultists randomly. You know, it's real sucks. Yeah. Did any of you attend my teaching lessons, by the way? Do you have any notes? No, no, no. Uh. Fine. No, we don't have any notes. Yeah. Oh, you're real. We don't know why they were chasing us either. That's why we're trying to find out, and that was a interesting situation. <sighs> By the way, were any of the papers recoverable? There's oh, yeah. bits and pieces that you might be able to put together. Okay, we can we can talk about that later. Yeah, we can we can talk about that later. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that'll be later. Uh... I also have two free drawers. So you go to Sick. Silas Oldani's office. Hey guys, welcome back. How's it going? Yeah, we brought our we brought the workers. Cool. Cool. Okay. Well, uh I'll have to deal with that when we're done here. Uh so I have thought about it. And we will set aside a little bit of whatever we get from the mines for you to pick through. Awesome. Can I add a small additive to that? What? So, we have that as normal, and then on halls where there's especially good finds, we get first pick on purchasing from that at your normal rate. Purchase? Uh, you know, I like the cut of your jib. So we Put get there, that normal part like, that's already money. set aside, but then when there's good hauls, we get first we get first pick on buying from you. Oh, that hell good yeah! Deal? Let's yeah, let's check All right, on that. cool. Yeah, and any sales I'm just making sure sale? that I, like not not getting like I'm not getting fucked over here. 
we are still like I, me asking you, Sadashi, I didn't say something that made it sound yeah, like a no, particularly no, no, no. ridiculous deal. And just like, okay, no, cool. it is a very yeah. reasonable deal that if you, uh, if they find anything, you will buy it from them. You'd like, that's a future yeah. sale right there. Yeah, exactly. It's like, I'm just saying like, we still like still that first part where stuff is set aside mm -hmm. that we like, we can pick through, but also first dibs on buys. Cool. Yes. Perfect. We'll shake. Yep. You have shaken. Better yet. Here's a contract. <laughs> William has drafted a contract. Uh, Perfect. You, you both sign it, and William will secure it in his little places where in he keeps contract. In his butt. <laughs> Deep right up in that butt. Right near... <laughs> no, we're not going there. When did you start drinking? Uh, I haven't. Okay. I think I might still yeah, be drunk from last night. <laughs> Alright, well... The pocket that the pocket that even God can't see. <laughs> Good night, everybody. 